get designing those festive creations. Christmas in July, Tuesday the 25th. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know, from the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Jewellery Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Everybody, good evening. Oh, hello. I'm on the I'm on the late show. Hello, everybody. It's really lovely to see you today. How are you? If we've not met before, I am Rebecca Reddykin. Do feel free to call me Becky, though. Um, if we haven't met, what can I tell you about myself? Um, I'm from Chester. <laughs> I've got brown hair. Um, I I'm I'm a creative. I'm a crafter, just like you are. I have been for. 
well, since I was yay high to a grasshopper, as they say, um, I absolutely love creativity. It is literally one of the main things in my life that I enjoy. I find it relaxing. I find it exciting. I find sometimes that actually I will choose to not go out on a Saturday night because I've got a pair of shoes to finish or I've got a deck chair to do or whatever it might be. I absolutely love and adore it. And if you are on the same boat as me and creativity is something that you absolutely adore, then you are in the right place today because you are going to be so inspired it is our seed beading weekend and actually what we're going to be looking at today is not the type of thing I would think of of seed beading necessarily instantly basically what I'm trying to say is these have been worked in a different way than I have ever seen it and I have always worked on jewelry maker I, I got uh, taken on when the mid show started I was your first mid show presenter and I have just been with with um, a jewelry maker since then so I've seen you know seed beads and gemstones worked in different ways but not quite in this way and the guest designer who has worked with both of our wonderful kits today just so you know you are going to love them is the wonderful Nadja hello hello good evening lovely lady how are you I'm really good thank you and yourself very good thank you now these kits do you know what I mean what I'm hinting at when I'm talking about the kits have been used slightly differently I have an idea yeah I have an idea yeah 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 how fun was it to be given a product that actually normally wouldn't think seed beading and this product did that open up new levels for you did oh, it make you think absolutely. differently yeah, completely it's so much fun to actually get something that i've not tried before myself yeah. i haven't seen it before either um, and then when i got it i thought it actually really really works well with the seed beads because you can get such a different look with the two materials together so it was brilliant to work with yeah, really uh, nice. You're going to absolutely love them when you see them. They're coming up in the second hour. And um, I really need to show you, if I may, today's must have. Um, we do it every evening, and this is a complete must have strand. Now, I'm not going to put a grading in your mind because what I want you to do with this gemstone is take what you know about graded gemstones, i.e., the creme de la creme, and say what you would grade it as. So let me just give you the basis of this gem. If we're talking the top quality, okay, I'll give you a clue. You're looking for Labrador essence. If you're looking about the top quality, the A, the double A, and the triple A in grading systems, different rules, different strokes for different folks, etc. But the general rule is if it's an A grade, you will get almost little pinpricks of Labradorite, tiny little pinpricks, a bit like an opal. If it's a double A, so again, step above, you will be getting a flash of light and then a stop of light, and a flash of light and then a stop of light, taking up about 50% possibly of the gemstone itself. For triple A grade, most people say that if there's only five, four, three, two, or one percent of blank spots in each, you've got a triple A grade. I'm gonna pick one stone at random. <laughs> I want you to grade this for yourself. Oh my goodness, right? The quality of this is exceptional, isn't it? Sorry, got a bit of pen on my finger. That's from crafting. Um, so that's coming up for you very, very soon. Um, I've also got, can I show you this as well? I'm gonna have to, this is coming up as my first star buy. This is one of my ultimate favorite gemstones in the world ever. This is an elite gemstone, and I don't want you to miss out on it. I really, really don't. This is an elite gem, a collector's gem, if you will. And I will be talking to you more about this little kiss of vintage garden in a moment or 17. That's not long. We'll open it up in a bit in a bit. Um, I'm bringing to you some on pre-order as well, a pearl chain, but I'll do that for you in a little bit. So, I'm here on The Late Show. Where should we dive in, please, Dan? Here's my producer this evening, and, oh, he's going for some shell. Oh, I like, I like it a lot. Shall we get started? <laughs> that wasn't mine, that was Dan's. 
this is not an auto cued show. I have got for you here your stunning shell. Isn't this beautiful? Now, this is a bang on trend look at the moment. It really is. If you love your texture, if you love your shiller and your sheen, you've got it here. Can you see how you've got that wonderful blue hue, very oceanic indeed? And then you have that sheen and shiller of each and every single one of them. Natural textures, natural beauty, wonderful amount of colour that really kind of dances across the surface. Two pounds and 95 pence for you today. Me, Kerry and Ben had a little bit of a bet on the mid-show yesterday that I said, Jack and Dan will take anything under five pounds. I didn't realise you were going to do it straight away off the bat. Two pounds and 95 pence. And remember, this is a huge, huge, huge look at the moment. Let me get out your style magazine. Here it is. You've got your jewellery trends. This is our style magazine. You get this free this month. They change each month. But can you see at the bottom there, there's all of these um, um, gemstone trends that are massive at the moment, loads of people working with them. And can you see how they've gone really organic, really textured, you've got angles on there, you've got kind of sheen in there. Look, that's exactly what you've got on this strand, isn't it? You've got that really modern look, that real wearability. I think this strand is fantastic. There's so much you could do with something like this. You could, of course, incorporate it into your Kumihimo, which is like a... Um, thread um, threading technique I suppose a knotting technique in a way um, you could use this really really beautifully just one of these on a very simple cord I think would be absolutely beautiful um, really going to be eye-catching alongside my treat I keep wanting to call it a one-to-own. -to Today's must-have. That's going to be a real treat. Well done, everyone who's coming in and getting their hands on this. £2.95. Well done. Okay, quartzite. Oh, in this, yeah, I love this colour. Oh, it's like a little sort of, I don't know, of colour. A little pop of colour. Yeah. Candy floss, that's what it's like. Or oh, hubba bubba. Oh, you know, the original hubba bubba. That's what it's like, isn't it? A real pop of fun and intrigue. I think this is stunning. And it is £2.95 for you today. Let me just remind you, OK, when you're getting a colour like this, it's really beautiful alongside deep, rich and foreboding gemstones to give it a little bit more of um, maybe an oomph. Or, of course, you can pop this with crazy colours if you want to. Put it in with clear gemstones. It's going to almost subdue it slightly. Um, it's going to look really beautiful. Another thing to remember with this, of course, is that it's quartzite, OK? So quartzite, if we're honest, it sounds a bit like it's a made-up gem, doesn't it? It's not. Quartzite, the word it comes from lithos, which is basically a derivative of the word gemstone. So when you see it at the end of the word, it means gemstone, basically. So quartzite is a type of, it's like a quartz in essence, but it takes colour better, which is why you've got that gorgeous on these. £2.95 for you today. Well done to all of you who are coming through and getting these ones. I think these are going to be lovely actually with the show we've just done. Just as an idea. Just as a little idea. Something a little bit kind of beach chic, if you will. 30 day money back guarantee, do not you forget. Well done. Oh, how about we add it with a little bit of white actually. Now, these ones are the same gem in essence, the same facet work as well. And these ones are just slightly larger. Now, Nadia, when you're working with gemstones that are the same shape and with the faceting and they're slightly different sizes, what does that mean for your work? It just gives them different aspects. I think you can put these together to give it a little bit more glamour, mm. um, to get the facets really reflect light nicely, and the different sizes just offset the stones to each other, really. Yeah. So I quite like doing that. To have yeah. different sizes, I often use it as um, sort of spaces, for instance, the facets. Yeah. And then the rounds are just um, a great sort of uh, filler. It's fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I think you've, you've summed that up perfectly. They just work really well together. Here is your price point again. £2.95. Right, remember for me, these are genuine gemstones, OK? At £2.95, I'd find it hard to buy genuine 100% bacon, actually, at £2.95. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It'd be, like, if you go and buy ham, you know you can get, like, reconstituted ham, can't you? Or you can get ham that looks like funny things. Have you ever had that? Like, bare face ham. 
<laughs> that's a bare face cheek. No, bare face ham. And you get different, you get ham that's looked like a bear and they get all these different bits and colour it together. Anyway, that's what you'd expect, isn't it? But this is a genuine gemstone. It is genuine quartz that we've got here for you. I know, I know, it seems too early to say it, but hey, it's Christmas in July soon, isn't it? Festivities. Perfect for it. If you're going to be getting ready for your Christmas fairs or your Christmas parties or your Christmas gifts, then this is going to be beautiful, isn't it? Drip, drip, drop little snowflake flowers. Oh, I really should think about this before I say it. £2.95 for you today. If you've never ordered with it before, info at the bottom of your screen is how to do it. It's free to get involved. So why not? Um, ooh. Fancy that. This is exotic. Okay, this is very exotic. This is the type of strand that you're going to pop on and it's going to take you from Stegness to the Bahamas. Do you know what I mean? It's like that. Nothing wrong with Skegness, love a bit of Skeggers. But do you know what I mean? It's a different feel, isn't it? This is more of that exotic, more of that kind of high-end feel. You have got a beautiful finish with these ones as well, with that lovely high shine gloss. Well, two pounds and 95 pence. Hey, why about, it's almost seafoam look, so you could add a little bit of the seafoam feel to it if you wanted to. I think this is a really, really beautiful beautiful kind of coolness and calmness but actually with a heat to it speaking of heat to it i am seeing loads of goodies just gonna oh, this is what i do sometimes i'm so naughty i'm not meant to do this <laughs> the reason that's not a star by i've got last chance saloon on he's less than 30 on it oh but i feel like it might be something you um needle to get your hands on i'm just saying two pounds and 95 pence for the blue quartz site i've got loads coming up for you today i really do seed bead saturday a really great opportunity for you on these ones two pounds and 95 pence and again they're gonna go so fantastically with my labradorite have you graded this yourself in your own mind have you after i was talking to you about the beauty and the quality of it I am opening up very soon your pearl chain. Very, very, very soon. Oh, sorry, I heard you and then I ignored you. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought you said. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, imagine... Imagine it's, it's, you're sat on a beach somewhere and it's a really sort of gentle sea, very gentle, and then the sun is just setting and you get in your view kind of the, the water very nice and still with the cascade of light that goes over it and it gives a gentle ripple, but it, it, it doesn't actually look red on water, does it? It gives you almost this muted yellow colour. Think of that. Imagine you're there. Toes in the sand. That's what it's like, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? That's what it's like, isn't it? Oh, I'm there. Are you? What have you got in your hand? Cocktail? That's what I've got. A plastic spade, Dan's got. <laughs> Small plastic spade. This is a beautiful shell oval. And I think you could create the most wearable and captivating and thought-provoking summertime jewellery with this. Oh, look at it. Each and every one with its own... One ninety-five. Oh, you're having a joke. One ninety-five. That is incredible. That's why you've got to get in with us today. £1.95 for you today. You play a, a joke noise on The Late Show, do you? Do you actually? No, that sounds like... Do you know what? Ben, uh, pr uh, Director Ben, I've worked with him for a very, very, very long time, but I feel like he's treating me like I'm the new kid at school. And he's like, oh, yeah, what? We all pop chewing gum in classrooms. That's what we all do. And then I get told off by the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you have got 195 on that. Good work, everybody. I think that's going to be nice as a choke, you know. First star buy in approximately 5 minutes and 32 seconds. Ooh. And I've got some lobster claw clasps as well for you if you're feeling a little bit beachy. 
Now, we are going to be bringing to you the pre-order. This is the one I was mentioning to you very, very soon. If you don't know what pre-order is, don't worry. I'll sort it out for you. I'll let you know what it is a little bit later. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. We're going to open this up for pre-order. So you get to get it before others a little bit towards the end of this hour. Post tourmaline. Post exquisite rose garden of beauty. Oh! Okay, loads more coming up for you. Let me bring to you now... The pebble? Oh no, that's coming up later, is it? Um, kyanite. Oh wow. Oh, I absolutely adore kyanite. Kyanite is a real executive gemstone strand. The pull of this that you have is incredible. Now you can get this from different locations in the world. I'm amazed that this is from Brazil, actually. This is a very, very, very small location within the world where it is, where it is found. There are larger places, the likes of Nepal, where you can get big, vast quantities of this. Because this was basically formed mainly through kind of tectonic movement and shift and, and, and lots of pressure and pushing. And, and that's kind of how you get this at some of the highest locations in the world. To get it in Brazil is extremely unusual. Very small mining community getting this out of the ground in that location. But I have to say, when you get the Brazil location, you tend to get more of this incredible gamma point of quality in its colour. I mean, the intensity is profound. Actually, little elements in this that you don't generally see in other locations whereby you get an under palette, a back palette of almost a sea foam colour, which I think is exquisite. Each and every single one of these has serious personality. And you can see that when you get it home. You can see the literal form of this, the way it's been stacked, the way that you have got almost these, um, look at that shadow, isn't that beautiful? The way you've got this almost deck of cards layering up of it each and every one of them is exquisite and gives real personality if you want a gemstone that says something if you want a gemstone that tells a story this is the type of one you want to go for it's a kyanite it is that is absolutely incredible that price go and have a little look at when after you bought this i would say because you know we don't have a huge amount of them it's kyanite from a very small community area like i said um but do your research on kyanite. It is an expensive gemstone. It is a high-end gemstone. This is a connoisseur piece time and time and time again. You're not going to be walking into your local high street store and seeing this in the window. Why? Because it's extremely rare. And often it's actually safe for the, the, the kind of couture, the connoisseur pieces. At that price point per carat, we're at 33p at the moment. Just before we do what we are about to do, can I just really, really highlight something to you? Please remember, if we take a pound off a price of something, you might think, well, it's only a pound. But actually, it can mean a lot because our price points are already beating left, right and centre. So much competition, in particular on elite gemstones that actually you'd be hard stretched to find, in particular in the genuine natural variety like this. If I were to take a pound off this, that is an ex a massive saving but I'm not about to take a pound off it. You ready for this? Get ready, everybody. This is a 50 pound strand at jewelry maker prices. Anywhere else, it could be a 100 pound strand, but at ours, it's about a 50 pound strand. I have just taken 10 pounds off that for you, okay? 10 pounds, imagine how you'd feel if you found 10 pounds on the floor or in your back pocket. You know, like that jacket you haven't worn in ages. You'd be happy as anything. But actually also think about it this way. Think about it this way. You are getting an elite gemstone. You are getting another classification of a gemstone. And actually, with £10 off, maybe don't think of it as £10. Maybe think of it as 20% off. Because that's what you've just got on this. You've got a 20% discount on one of the biggest, best known in the gem trade gemstones out there. The Connoisseur Strand. I mean, you've been looking across at this, Nadia, and you've been smiling. And you did a genuinely shocked face at that price drop. That's brilliant. I mean, Kai and I, is just such an amazing gem stone to get it for that price is just you have to grab it so what is it that captivates you about it it's just kyanite has um some 
in a shimmer. I can't really quite yeah, explain yeah, it. It yeah, has some, yeah. a bit like a labradorite, but not. Mm -hmm. And I really like that about it. And some stones have some clarity to it that really attracts me to kyanite. Yeah. It, almost as if there's some see-through bits. So it's yeah, stunning, it's amazing. isn't it? Mm, and when you're thinking about sheen and you're thinking about shiller, let me find a really nice bluer one. Oh, that's a lovely blue. Ooh, that one's golden. But, but just to see, you know, something like that on a ladies or a gents piece of mm. jewellery, I think that works well, don't you? It does. It's amazing together. That and works so well. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It's so complementary. Mm. The striations in this one just have to be very much mimicking the striations that you get. This Labradorite, can I say that, Dan? Is going under 20. Ah! Under 20 pounds. And it's coming up at 8.30, okay? Um, that's special. Um, well done to every single one of you who's getting your hands on this. I'm talking to you about connoisseurs and I'm talking to you about collectors. And um, that's very much what I'm going to talk to you about with this strand, actually. Um, I'm about to bring to you a gemstone that actually, before working at Jewelry Makeup, I, I wouldn't have been able to guess maybe what this gemstone was. Um, we were very, very, very lucky when I started working at Jewelry Maker that we were um, basically able to go pretty much half and half, not quite, but pretty much half and half on a huge shipment of this um, strand, of this, not this strand, this gemstone. Basically, the company we were working with previously bought a massive shipment. Usually, we used to buy in parcels, very, very small, very, very selected amount. We did a really, really, really good deal whereby we were able to get a shipment of this gemstone through. And that meant that we here at Jewelry Maker were kind of this gemstone for days. We'd have it on seven, eight, nine times a show sometimes. And we'd have, you know, three shows in the day. There was loads and loads and loads of it everywhere. And the thing is, I would sit here and I would know doing my GIA and, and the different levels of it and everything else. I would sit here and know the rarity of this, but it'd be quite hard to prove it to you. And then what happened was the shipment ended. We ran out of it. We had no more at all available. And now, trying to actually go out and buy some, we're now realising why so many big companies were coming to us to ask if they could buy parcels from us because they couldn't get their hands on it either. And now we're struggling. This is a connoisseur's choice. Star by. <laughs> I adore that this is totally true vintage rose garden. Um, it is beautiful. Um, this is, everyone, your tourmaline, your genuine gemstone, the collector's choice. When I talk about collector's gemstones and collector's choice gemstones, what do I mean? I'm not talking about your everyday. I'm not talking about the gem that you could just nip down the road, open up a catalog, boom, 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 boom. There it is, there it is, there it is. I'm not talking about that. I'm not even talking about the likes of diamond or emerald, because in my opinion, they're not technically sort of collector's gems. I mean, they are, we do collect them, but it's a whole different level. It's something that maybe, for me, collectors, you know, they do their research, they find out what they're getting, they, they specifically pick pieces and um, to really get their hands on and this is that for me it, this is the gemstone strand that for me actually takes it to almost a new platform I love my diamonds I love my sapphires I love my emeralds but but this is a new platform this is a new level this is something that actually unless you're in the trade maybe you wouldn't know about this it is therefore extremely I think special to be able to have it in your jewelry collection and with this strand here, what I want to point out about it is the tonality flux in this is huge. So much more than I'm used to actually seeing in a tourmaline. Um, and what I mean by that is if I just hold it out for you and you can kind of see individual ones, you're going to be able to see differentiality. I mean, the tonality in those two, very, very different. You've then got almost that beautiful um, um, jade eye colour, actually. You've got that, that fluxing almost. Can you see the fluxing on, on the texture and the, on, of the surface of this? How it sort of melds and bends. And then, then, then look, oh, that one's stunning. You've got serious 
serious amount within here. You really, really do. Sunset hues. Um, you've got purples. I love purples, it's particularly in tourmaline. It's so spectacular. The fact of the matter is, for us, that... You know, it's this time of year, I think. Tatton's on at the moment. You know Tatton Park? I don't know if you know. Basically, it's this huge show that they have. They, they put it on BBC and everything else. It's Tatton at the moment. It's massive. It's it's a big fair. It's going on all weekend. If you're up near Cheshire, you know, do feel free to pop in um, because it's always magnificent. It's spectacular. Loads of stands, loads of stalls. But these are the colours that I have seen year after year in, uh, in Tatton. You know, I do live around there. Year after year, it's these kind of colours that you're seeing. And I think what you've got with this is slightly more vintage than usual. It's got a real vintage feel to it. It's almost canal boat paintings, isn't it? It's got an incredible amount of individuality about each and every one. And I think when you've got this kind of almost new age fun to it, do you know what I mean? In the sense of it's kind of fun, but it's not over the top. Do you know what I mean? It's got that kind of beauty to it. It's not spicy. It's not, it's not a hot colour, you know, like your hot pinks. It's got this really lovely lovely maturity I think that's the word I'm looking for it's mature isn't it it's it's mature without being oldie fuddy duddy a little bit sort of antwacky which apparently is a northern word so I'll explain it antwacky basically means well just that a bit old-fashioned a bit you know sort of um, crochet over your toilet roll do you know what I mean it's that sort of thing that's not what you've got here is it it's vintage it's mature it's grown up but it's still got a little bit of that fun in it Sue says I bought the three mil rounds yesterday and it would be rude not to buy these today wouldn't it Sue I feel like you're looking for me to help you there um, in kind of the reasons it would be absolutely rude not to really yeah, they're like the little baby version. Um, yeah, why not? Add them together. They're going to look great together. Now, let me just make you aware of a couple of things. Numero uno. Free phone number at the bottom of your screen. Never made an order with before. It is so easy. Number two, your names have gone off my screen. That basically means so many of you have come in and bought this that your names have gone off my screen. I can't even see all of you buying it, but well done to everyone who has. Numero Three. I'm not great with the Spanish numbers. Um, you have got many of you multi-purchasing, so particularly well done to you. Another thing I will point out is, as presenters, one of my job roles is to look at prices beforehand and retain that information. My brain does not work that way. I don't bother, therefore. So I haven't got a clue of what deal this is going to. But what I will say is web bidders, you can see the price. And the majority of you are web bidders right now. So I think that's going to be a sign that it's a bit special. In three seconds, apparently, this is going to make sense to me. Why does all of you... Me... Okay. Right, listen. £6.95 for Shell. Yeah. £6.95 for quartz. Yeah. £6.95 for quartzite. Yeah, why not? It's, it's a big amount of the earth's, you know, cross. Yeah, fine. £6.95 on tourmaline. Yeah, absolutely. No problemo. £6.95, that does not equate to me. Go, go, go and buy, buy, buy. I genuinely am absolutely astonished by this. I have a, I have a tourmaline um, um, ring that I absolutely love and adore. I will be completely honest with you. Um, I got it at staff cost. It was over £100. I still love it. I still adore it. It's nowhere near this carrot weight, mind you. Um, um, but £6.95, this is tourmaline. This is the go-to. This is the... For me, anyway, this is one of my absolute all-time favourite gemstones. I think this is stunning. Come on in and get your hands on it. Let us know what you're going to do with it as well. Feel free to text us in. I love hearing from you. Um, do feel free to text us in today. It's seed bead. So let's think. Oh, what? Seed. Seed. You think of seed, don't you? You think of the seed of doubt. I don't want that. Let's think of seeds of loveliness. I want to know little seeds, little bits, little trinkets that have happened to you this weekend, or this week even, that has just put a little smile on your face. Do you know what I mean? It could be anything. Did someone help you with your bag in the street? Today, my little, my little seed of loveliness today, I had a fab. 
I had a fab on my way to work. A fab lollipop. A fab ice lolly. Honestly, <laughs> it was so lovely. I had a little fab on the way to work. And I just felt like I was on a whole other level. Just a little seed of loveliness that put me in a great mood. Do feel free to, to text us in. I'd love to hear from you. Um, 60777 is your text number. Or you can do it on um, jewelrymaker.com as well. Also, if you see anything you like, let us know what you're thinking of doing with it. For example, with, there it is, that's how you get involved. For example, with our Labradorite today that's coming up for you very, very soon, a little bit later on. Um, Becky, my heart longs for the tray thing you picked up. What time is it coming up, please? So looking forward to a great show, JM team. Let's say hello to my team today. Today it is my pleasure to be joined by... Possibly one of the most fashion fashionable members of the team, I'll be honest. It's the wonderful Kerry. Hi, Kerry. Silence. She stood towards the box. She's gone out the way completely. How are you, Kerry? Good. Uh, yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm also joined today by definitely one of the blondest members of the family. It is Ben. Hi, Ben. I've got Dan in with us, who's possibly the tallest man of the business. So, look at this. Whoa! He goes on for days. Look at the height of that. Um, I've also got Paul with us today. You about Paul? There he is. Look at him. Paul, the, um, what would you like to be, Paul? Because you didn't like the thing I said last time, did you? Nope. <laughs> he did not. The guy who wears the hats best. Is that one better, Paul? It'll do. It'll do. It'll do. It's not true. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, these are coming up for you. I'm just going to put them there for you, Daniel and Jessica. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. We've only got 20, though. I'm sorry. Okay, before that, though, I've got lobster claw class coming up very, very soon. Those lovely lobster claws gave you a little showy, showy up. These ones. Lobster claw class in precious metal. Precious metal is something that you might want to save for your special gems. Knock, knock, knock. That's a special gem about to be yours, hopefully. Quarter to. Quarter to. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Have a little look at these. Three out of ten max for that joke. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It was pretty good, that. I'm actually going to steal it. <gasps> this is your blue sapphire. Now, location is key with certain gemstones. Location is something which will determine the beauty, the attributes, the quality of, of, of your gem. Ben, you're not wrong. It is like house, house prices. You're right. Take one house, put it in one location. It could be a certain amount. Put it in a different, it could be a completely different amount. It's the same with certain genuine gemstones. This one in particular. Burma is a haven for natural minerals that create over many hundreds of thousands of years some of the most executive gemstones and this is one your Burmese sapphire when you're dealing with Burmese sapphire that has this aptitude of color you really are dealing in in an elite what I have here for you is all the qualities you actually want in the colour and actually in the workmanship, isn't it? You've got that incredible sparkle that dances on each and every one of these facets that is perfectly cut at the junctions, really beautifully. You haven't got sort of a facet that's, you know, the facets are all like this. One of them isn't like that or that and then that. You know, it's all beautifully cut, which is why the pinks of light you're getting are so even. Another thing that's great about this is that you've got that wonderful richness of the blue. Now, that is something we try and copy all the time. We try and copy it in synthetics. We try and copy it with dyes. We try and copy it by 
shooting it with gamma rays. We try and get that colour so many different ways because it's offered rarely, but it's what everyone wants. We haven't had to with this one because Mother Nature has given us the most immaculate, <laughs> eye-catching blue that you could ever hope for in a sapphire. Workmanship and beautiful blue all in one place on this location piece. If you want to go to a museum and look at your sapphires, most museum quality sapphires will be from in and around this location in Burma. And that's what you've got here. You've got, you know, a nod to your museum quality with that workmanship and with the richness, definitely. If you want to own 30 strands of sapphire, then go ahead, absolutely do. If you only want to own one, and you only have the opportunity to work with one type and location of sapphire, my advice would be choose this one time and time again. I mean, I love my songi and sapphire to be fair as well, so actually they'd be on a par for me. But if you want that beauty, this is your chance. At £49.95 and pence for one of the elite locations of one of the high-end beautiful gemstone. This is your opportunity to do it today. You have got the beauty here of your blue sapphire. You could go halves on it actually if you wanted to with a friend. Go halves on it, chop it in half. You have half, the other has half. That'll save you money. Do you know what else will save you money? Dad! The producer. Dan, producer Dan is in charge of buttons and he's doing this right now. We're dropping this down in price. £39.95. pence. Now that price point, I can only guarantee you right here, right now. I cannot guarantee you that with outside of the live show. You have to be ASAP, quick as a dart on this one, please, if you do want to get your hands on it. Because how many strands of sapphire do you have? And what percentage of those is made up of natural Burmese sapphire with this richness of colour? I think you'll be lucky if you're saying 10%, I think. And I doubt you got a 20% saving on the one that you maybe do own. This is your chance, everyone. Good luck to you all. Let's get a little bit of inspiration from the wonderful Nadja, who has worked with seed beads in a different way than I've ever seen them before, coming up for you soon. Nadja, what might you do with something like this to show off its stunning beauty the sapphire i would probably put it together with pearls i just like to put it with pearls definitely just because they go so well together they're both really classy gemstones so i think they go so well together they do work really nicely yeah. actually they can really and actually always remember okay if you're working with pearls you have to be very careful what gemstone you put next to them because pearls are very delicate they will scratch they will scrape away and you will be able to see that necklace shining through Putting them on a chain like this, though, that's going to be perfect because you're not going to have them rubbing up against the pearl, are you? But you can still incorporate them. So because these links are a lovely size, pop a head pin through and just go halfway. Count out, count them out. Halfway, pop a sapphire in, pop a sapphire in, pop a sapphire in. It's like a dangle design. How gorgeous would that be? <gasps> you will feel, and rightly so, like, like you'd walk straighter. Do you know what I mean? You really would. Well done, everyone. I am going to give you... Oh, we're giving a sneaky peek at the kit. <laughs> right, listen. Um, we're guaranteeing pretty much a sellout on one particular... Do you want me to show both? Um, this is... <laughs> sorry, that was my concentration face. I am bringing to you your seed bead kit one section two parts this is in i want to show you this and there's going to be one component that makes you see beaders go hey what who love those for starters never seen these before take me away on holiday please with them never seen these ones before either love that color love that color hello an absolute must have and yep, your eyes are not deceiving you. Yep, that everyone is wire mesh. Wire 
wonderful, easy, usable mesh. This is coming up for you in the kit. It ties it all together. <laughs> this is the thing we were talking about that is not the norm at all, at all. Um, so that's something very special. Have you got enough fire line? Have you actually got loads of mesh because you know you work it with your wire work or whatever? Maybe you just want seed beads. Introducing kit parts. Number two. How great would that go with those tourmaline? Those colours, wouldn't they? Look, with the tourmaline. Sorry, getting me chops, me yeah, chops, me hands oh, in the way. The combination. Oh my gosh, how well does that work? With the tourmaline. That's the one that's almost gone, by the way, I've just been told. 12 left, I'm afraid, that's it. 12 left. Out of a hundred. Um, okay, so they're coming up for you soon. I'm not even going to give you an inkling on price because you're not going to believe me. I'm going to bring you now an absolute essential. And actually, some we never get to see often at all. Stop by. Lobster claws. What are they? They're things that they're things that lobsters hold hands with. Because they are, aren't they? Now that's true. Lobsters, they, they hold claws and they walk together. It's a true story. That is true. But I'm not talking about that. What I am talking about is these. They're essential. They are an absolute essential in your makes. Why, Nadia, please? Why? Just because you wouldn't be able to wear most necklaces if you wouldn't have a lobster claw. I think, especially when you have to open and close when it's a shorter necklace, so you definitely need them. Lobster claw is a clasp. It's an essential. Pop it on the back, the front, the sideways, the whatever of your, of your jewellery making piece, and it is going to act as a clasp, i.e. it's going to do up or undo your pieces. You can, of course, always have it as a charm as well if you wanted to. What I love about these ones, which is a little bit different actually, a little bit unusual, a little bit out there, is the action to them. Now I know this sounds like a minimal thing to notice but jewellery makers of the world unite with me when you know that moment and you bought a lobster claw clasp and you get it home and then you put it on a piece of jewellery and because it hasn't got this, that separate jump ring that actually gives it movement of ease and beauty that actually you put your necklace on and it sits funny. I have done that so many times. You put on a necklace, and because it's a solid piece, it's all in one piece, you put it on, you might put it slightly on at the wrong angle, and the necklace just sits at the weirdest angle. What happens? You end up not wearing it. The fact that these have got that action means that they are going to bend with you, mould with you, they're going to be able to... Because look, they've even got the action in that direction, don't forget. So backwards, forwards, side to side, sort of full sort of 360 rotation, if you will. That means it, it's going to make your jewellery wearable. Gone are the days of you making a piece that you've spent sometimes hours, sometimes days, sometimes weeks on. You then put slightly the wrong clasp on and actually it's uncomfortable. It twists all the time. You don't wear it. That's not what these are going to do. The movement of them is going to help. The fact it's genuine sterling silver as well makes it even more captivating because that's then adding value to your pieces, isn't it? You don't want to spend a long time on something and actually then putting a mediocre finish to it. You want to work, if you've spent that long creating something, you want to work with the best you can afford. And at 70p each you can afford these. Yep, you're ready for it. £6.95, that's 70p each approximately that we've got here for you. Loads of you in for this. Well done to loads of you. Cheshire, Kent, Norfolk, hello to Somerset, hello to Devon, lovely to see you. Greater London, Wiltshire, hello to Kent and hello to Hampshire, hello to Somerset, another Cheshire's in with us. Hello to um, um, Cardiff and to South Yorkshire and to Swansea and to Devon and to Lancashire. Well, hello, welcome to you all. Loads of you now 
now putting this in your baskets. I know we hardly ever get to see them and genuinely, if we could bring them to you more often than we would, but the fact is it's one of those things that actually when we get things like this, it's, okay, do we put them in kits? Um, okay, do we do we put them in a findings pack? Okay, what, what? So we don't get to bring them to you by themselves that often, in particular with this quality, in particular with this finish. You know when you get like bolt ring clasps and they have the soldered on ones? There is a time and place for those, but actually these ones with that 360 movement, I think they're going to be really simple to wear, very wearable indeed. And if you do want to use them as charms, so essentially kind of flip them over if you will, you open and close it using that action and you pop it onto your chain, that movement again is going to really make whatever gemstone or charm you place from these really sparkle and shine because again, it's got that movement. So I think the movement in these, the action of these, which actually does take a longer time to do what we'll point out as well, to just get a clasp and then just solder on a piece of metal is easy enough to do but with this you've got that tiny area where you've got to slot the metal into and keep it around and then solder that shut let it set and, and, and able and perfectly dry so it doesn't catch onto anything else because then it's going to be solid again that takes more effort that takes a little bit more skill so actually to get all of that skill all of that precious metal and all of that wearability the thing we all want and for 6.95 i.e 70p each I mean, it's invaluable, really, isn't it? Definitely, that's a great price for them. Yeah. Definitely need those. So, I mean, you've got a stash builder with, you need your jump rings, your um, head pins, and definitely clasps is what you need in your basic stash. So. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely agree with you there. And if you want to finish off this necklace, because I will make you aware, this pearl chain doesn't have a clasp on it, but this will be easy to add a clasp on. I actually talked to you yesterday about how to open up these smaller links. If you get a darning needle or something like that, you can just sort of ease, because it's still in silver, so it's nice and malleable, ease that over the darning needle. You can really, really make these much larger, much larger, almost sort of double the size. Because remember, silver is so malleable. You can get it to like tiny 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 percentage of the thickness of paper you know it's so thin it's so fine but you can just stretch this out add one of them on look the color's the same it's still in silver as well you've got a necklace there then haven't you really easy peasy done and dusted and the class only cost you 70p it's a great opportunity well done every single one of you and can i just i don't know if i'm meant to show this yet but i really really want to i've got a very special strand coming up for you um, one of the most elite gemstones, one of the, um, it's a real couture gem. It's truly spectacular. Um, it's one of the best selling gemstones um, in history actually, um, in the jewellery trade. The quality of this one is epic. I've been lucky enough to see this strand once only before. It's incredible. It is not your usual London blue. Now this is not your usual London blue, not only because we don't get to see London blue often at all, you know that, I know that, but also it's slightly different to the ones we used to see in. Can you see how you've got that really intriguing green back palette? It's incredible, isn't it? We have had so many people wanting to get their hands on this star buy, so we, we're going to bring it to you right here, right now. You've got the clasps, now you need the finishing piece to do your necklace. Star buy. We've had so many people asking about this. We've had loads of you kind of really wanting to get your hands on this. And it does not shock me for one half of a second. The quality and beauty on this is profound and blatant, if I'm honest. Absolutely blatantly obvious. I think this is so, so wonderful. Okay, everyone. Before we bring those graphics in, I really need to pinpoint a few things for you. Number one, yes, that is genuine sterling silver. Number two, yes, these are genuine cultured pearls. They're not synthetic, they're not fake, they are real deal cultured pearls. And yes, the colours that you see in here are true colours. Each one of those three things, I've just 
pointed out there, you need to be adding a serious proportion of money to the checklist each time. If I were able to bring you genuine cultured pearls in real deal colours with a copper chain, oh, you've got an idea in your mind, haven't you, of price point. The sterling silver, you need to be adding another, what, 50% to that price in your mind. These were synthetics, maybe you've got another price. They're not, they're real deal. Good luck every single one of you. Your graphics are now in. I do wish you luck on things like this because when I look at stuff like this, I think, you know what? That's the type of thing I wish we had when I first started jewellery making. That's the type of thing that I wish we'd have because you know what it's like being a creative. I, don't, I know the full well, this isn't just me. As a creative, I think you're kind of built in a way that if you try something and try and try and try and try and try and you keep getting poor results, you keep getting finishes that aren't exactly what you expected or aren't exactly what you wanted because maybe your skill's not there yet, it can really knock your confidence. It can really knock you down. Things like this and working with things like this straight off the bat, you're going to be able to create something absolutely stunning that's going to give you that confidence. But also I think this is great for people who've made jewellery for 10, 20, 30, 40 years because actually what you've got here is, yes, something you could make yourself, but you know how time consuming it is. You already know you've got the skill to do it, you, you know, but have you got the patience? Mm, it's done here for you. It's a time saver. But also for me, imagine this is a canvas. This is a new canvas for you to be able to work on. Yes, it could quite easily be a finished piece. Pop a clasp on it, as we said, and you're done. But if you're thinking of this as your canvas, what are you going to paint on it? What are you going to do with it? Are you going to add individual gemstones to each one of these links in a charm form? Are you going to actually separate these out and maybe do your own little rosary link in each? Are you maybe even going to go totally wild and out there and actually have this maybe in the likes of a box frame? You know, this could actually be framing something, couldn't it? Maybe what you want to do with this, in fact, is 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 separate it off and give it as little treats to people, maybe little heirlooms to people in your family. Pick out individual colours. You know, my niece would love that one. My great niece would love that one. Maybe that one's for my daughter. You could do so much with this just by imagining it as your blank canvas. This is not a finished piece. It could be quickly and easily, but it isn't. So you have the opportunity to put your own personality, your own intrigue and interest on each and every single one of these that you get. And I say each and every single one of these that you get because for the amount of precious metal that's in there, for the amount of beauty in the genuine cultured pearls, and for the amount of interest you have throughout this due to that wonderful coloration, I doubt you're going to be just buying one. Your price point today is coming through on your screen. And I say today because this isn't a price I'm ever going to be able to guarantee week in, week out, year in, year out. And particularly with silver being so fluctuating as it is at the moment in its price. Blimey, it's changing literally like hour by hour, minute by minute pretty much. Um, with silver and the metal prices fluctuating so dramatically, it's not something I'm going to be able to always guarantee you. I said to you that you can make this yourself and jewellery makers who've been doing it a while will know that, you know, you get your pearls, you do a little wrap loop in between and then you add your chain. But actually, unusual for us to bring you 50 centimetres worth of chain. If you were to do that, if you were to make it yourself, remember, you might be able to get the components sorry, for a similar price. But think about the time. Think about the time of it. You, even if you're just making to gift to a friend, you probably have in at the back of your mind how long it's taking you. I mean, I sometimes think about just the fun of it. But this actually, when you're thinking about the time it's taking you to create, and you're, if you're going to be charging yourself even minimum wage to do something like this, you've got to factor in that kind of eight pounds mark an hour, haven't you, to create something like this. But then you've got to buy the pearls, you've got to buy the chain, you've got to buy the sterling silver wire, which is hard to come by, isn't it, in particular in this look. So 21 pounds and 95 pence on 50 centimetres really is another level of wonderfulness. And if you want to see what 50 centimetres looks like, you know, we've been bringing you these gorgeous chains recently. You know, like 16 inch chains. Oh, just hit me mic, I'm so sorry. That is how it would look as a necklace. That's it touching That's at the gorgeous. back. Isn't that pretty? pretty. Mm, absolutely gorgeous, so classy. So classy, so elegant. The movement and the chain is spectacular. I mean, I'm slightly over pronouncing my movement here, but just so you can see, the movement of the chain is wonderful. As you move, it moves, the light dances across it. It's really pretty, isn't it? I love it. Something I would wear on a special night out, I think. Yeah, mm. yeah. 
a special occasion treat, special occasion treasure for you to be able to get your hands on. And we did say, you know, use the chain as your basis and hang gemstones from it, such as possibly the London blue, of course. But such as, what about if you find, found almost like your Spectralite colour palette? Oh, that one works really well. If you brought almost Spectralite colours to it and add in those inside, like, like just one in the centre on a bit of chain, just one in the centre on the chain, that'd be incredible, wouldn't it? I mean, how high-end is that going to feel? And you're going to look incredible in it. I think that's safe to say. This is coming up as today's must-have at 8.30. 8.30, sorry, um, ish. So, so we'll, we'll remind you of that a little bit later on. Now, I've got so much more coming up for you. I've got the kit and the bundle coming up for you. This is my bundle. I've also got so many added extras to bring you in this first kit. For example, needles, I've got some kind of bits and bits and bobs, we'll describe them as. So you've got all of that, the incredible Labradorite, London blue topaz and free inspiration from Nadia using seed beads in a way I've not seen before. Don't go anywhere, it's just a few minutes and we'll be back. The sun is shining. We've had the hottest day of the year so far. The paddling pools are out and everyone's topping up their towns. So here at Jewelry Maker, we've decided to bring you Christmas in July. As Jewelry Makers, we know you love to be organised. So join us on July the 25th and start planning your Christmas craft fairs and get designing those festive creations. Christmas in July, Tuesday the 25th. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just £2.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for £4.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
what you were about to see, everyone, is really, really going to just put a massive smile on your face. You all right there, Ben? You just dropped the camera almost. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I am absolutely <laughs> amazed. When I say to you, seed beads, you're going to have one idea in your mind. And then when you see this, you're going to see it in a different way. My name is Rebecca Redikin, and the creator of this is the wonderful Marja. It's going to put a big smile on your face. Have a look. That is incredible. Not just your normal, not just your usual, but look. Nadia, you've worked with this in a totally different way than normal. I just asked for it. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. The mesh is just so different from anything I ever had, so... It's fantastic. <laughs> Nobody thinks seed beads mesh. You think seed beads, you think, I need needles. <coughs> you think, you think, um, you think, I need, you know, my threads. I need something to cut my threads. <coughs> threads have a... You, you know, that's what you think. You don't think mesh. How does it feel to be given something new and exciting and different? Well, exactly. It's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting because I've never had something like that before. Mm. And just to uh, imagine different ways to actually work with it. So it was really fun to try different things and do something new with it. It's yeah. brilliant. Loved it. So. You have got the opportunity to get this look. So really quickly, because this is going to be popular. And I don't have hundreds of these. Do I produce it down? No. 99 Exactamundo Lake. That's exactly it. Um, I have got for you here a stunning collection. You're going to love it. Let's start off with the essential, your fire line, your bonded material. It's what ties it all in together. If you've never worked with seed beads before and you're thinking all of this is going to be like Latin to me, don't worry. We're going to do a free demo so it will become clear. You just need the components first off. You've got your fire line, your threading material, bonds it all together. Don't think, oh, well, I've got thread at home. It doesn't do the same job. You need this to get a really nice finish. I've also got in here your seed beads. Now, these are your Mayuki seed beads. It's um, a Japanese style of seed beads. This really is like the creme de la creme. What do you mean you're going to Japan? No, you're not, Kerry. I must find out more later. Um, you have got your Mayuki seed beads here. They really are the top notch. Basically, they've been going for ages, this company, like since the late 40s, 1940s. So they really know what they're doing. Um, you know, they've kind of worked out the kinks. They know you want, we want them to be even. They know we want them to have, you know, great drill holes on them. And that's what you've got in here. They also know we want different sizes in different shapes. And that's totally what we've got here. So lots of different sizes, as you can see, in this collection. You'll get in the lovely pearlesque variety, that wonderful um, um, hot pink and the galvanised variety. And you've also got, these ones are Duracoat, by the way, I forgot to tell you that. So more expensive, but it really lasts, it's worth it. Um, turquoise as well, you've got here the turquoise coloured CBs. And you've got the Delicas. Now, Delicas are some of our absolute favourites. Oh, as soon fun. as I said Delicas, <laughs> Nadia just lit up like I just offered her a brand new baby chicken. Um, <laughs> why did you light up so much? Just because they, they're great. They have a great shape. You can do so many different designs with it, variety. You add them as spacers. You can add them as, you know, um, What's the name? I've forgotten about detail. Detail, yeah. Um, oh, you can build uh, geometrical shapes. You can fit them in between other seed beads. They're just brilliant to work with. So those yeah. ones really useful for you to be able to work with. Um, I have also got the very, very... Now, I know there's people waiting. There's people queuing on the phones. I know, I know, I know. I promise I'm going to bring them in in a second. I'm just going to flash on for you the last um, element that we have. And it's one we're not used to seeing. This is the one that's making this kit go from your average every day to a whole other level. This is your wonderful, workable done something wrong no you haven't you'll sort it out a mesh this is the thing that's taken this from you every day it is something you can work with genuine gemstones you can work with wire we've had um um sort of tuition on how to work with this in lots of different ways i myself have never seen it used in the way we're about to use it with the seed beads it is so wonderful it's easy peasy to work with and this is taking it to another level and you do get the secure the pot as well with it too which is always handy for storage if you want to get your hands on this okay now is your opportunity to do it so Get ready, get wearing. Your graphics are about to come live. That means you can now purchase it. 
there they are for you. This is your collection your tribal mesh collection all of the colors all of the textures all of the mammoth mammoth amount within here and all for an incredible deal 31 pounds and 95 pence yeah. i adore nadia and her very expressive face the the face that came in when that price came on then was a true wow one wasn't it <laughs> That you didn't expect that, did no, you? No, I didn't. That's a great price for these seed bees, especially the large tubes, because you get the smaller tubes for oh, just five pounds each, and they're like ten grams. So yeah. that's a massive, massively good price. So if these yeah. were a five for each, let's say, well, it's more than double. So let's just say, even if these were a ten each, you've got thirty-five pounds worth maybe expecting just there, actually. But you're getting the mesh, you're getting all of the fire line in there. You've got the dura coating, which is even more expensive than that. I mean, you really, really, really have got all of it, haven't you? Yeah, I've got so much in that kit, and I still got so much left as well. So. And you can see this has really inspired you. Do you think this is good for people who've maybe lost their mojo a bit? I think so, definitely, because it's something new to play with. Um, and I mean, as I said, I haven't really used it myself before, so to have something new to play with is definitely something that can get you going and have new design ideas. So definitely. it's great. And it's so easy to use as well. Totally agree with you. I think it works beautifully with the um, with the Delicas as well. You can see how on this design and, and the one next to it, actually, you've used the Delicas over the mesh and then put ones inside the mesh and mm. over the mesh just gives such a beautiful look and um, if you've got any questions Nadia is with us until the end of the show we're only going live today until 10 p.m. and um, so um, do make sure that you um, message in before then 60777 let me just make you aware I've got a decent proportion of my stock gone on this right now okay names about to go off my screen again so please do be quick if you want to get your hands on it a very very big price drop we've given that from the RRP it's massive from the RRP that it was. So do get your hands in when you can. RRP on this was close to the £50 mark. So get it whilst you can. Nadia, tell us what we're going to be looking at and learning today, please. Well, I'm going to show you that necklace that I, you had at first. So um, I'm going to show you how to make that. It's stunning, isn't it? How perfect is this for that kind of tribal feel? And it's a great sort of piece to start with because it's it's fairly simple once you get the knack of the uh, peyote stitch. It's a lot of fun to make. So mm. um, yeah, a lot of fun to make. So, shall I start? Perfect. Right, that would be okay. wonderful. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the base. I'm going to use less beads to show you because it's exactly the same um, as I would as if I would use all of the beads. But because it's so big, I'm just going to use 10. Okay. For this piece, I've used 40. Mm -hmm. 40 pieces in a row. Okay. For demo purposes, I'm going to use 10. So, 40 pieces going all the way. Yeah, sideways. So, I'm going to start with the first one. So, I'm going to pick up one of the 11 O's and feed it onto my thread like so and the first bead I quite like to oops, I quite like to go through it once more just to sort of lock it in place like so don't forget you've got the fire line in the kit as well yeah. so you've got all of that so I'm just going to pull up high. You're going to need quite a, um, a good length to start with. The nice thing is you can always add a new cord with that. It's not like macrame where it can be a little bit complicated. So um, you can always add, if your cord runs short, your thread, you can always easily um, add in. So I'm going to add ten and uh, nine more beads. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine so i'm just going to pull this through and this is the base row we're going to be starting off with so i've got nine beads here and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to um, set beads on top of every other seed bead so i'm going to pick up another um, 11 o and i'm going to put the needle through the next bead in line like so and i'm going to pull this tight so this is usually the most fiddliest bit to the beginning when you're starting the stitch. So I'm just going to pull this through and you always have to just be gentle. I went one bead too far. So I'm just going to go out again and go into the correct one. Sorry about that. There we go. And then just go into the next one. Like so. And then you just have to set them straight and pull them. It's very, really fiddly in the beginning, so you just have to 
keep playing with it and it does get easier as you go along it does, yeah. and Definitely. if the kind of fiddliness you know is irritated to you then i have got something to make your life so much easier you're going to be thinking right, why on earth have i never had them before yeah how do you thread a needle if you don't mind me asking is it like this is it like that is it right up under your nose and you have to try like three times? I get mine on my sewing machine and I kind of hold it and I just kind of judge where it is. But you know what a sewing machine needles like? It's almost a little bit bird sometimes, isn't it? So it kind of irritates your fingers. But you kind of guess where it is and sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And I've got good eyesight, you know, it's nothing to do with eyesight, is it? It's because the eyes on them are tiny, aren't they? And yeah. obviously there are certain cords, therefore, that you can't use with them. Um, I've actually got, I bought, so annoying, I bought, um, uh, well, uh, a thousand metres worth of this cord for my sewing machine the other day. And it says sewing machine cord. Does not go through my needles. I've got whole new types of needles that I have to go and get my hands on. Really irritating, actually. Because, all right, the needles only cost like five, uh, I think they're a five for a pack. But still, really irritating. All of that, I'm about to just quash for you because none of that needs to be an issue with these does it nope let me show you what i've got here i've just opened up the packet because i want you to really be able to see them take a little look i've still got one in the packet these are your big eye needles now ben have you seen these before be honest no no these are needles they're genuine needles for the likes of your um uh, seed beading for example can you do me a favour and just tell me, these are needles, where would an eye, you know what the eye of a needle is, don't you? The bit yeah. you thread through. Where would it normally stop, okay? So let me do that. Do you tell me when to stop with my finger? Stop. Usually about there. So if I say these are big eye and they are double that, how incredible oh, is that? Mm. How incredible would that be? I mean, I mean, that would be epic, wouldn't it? It's not the case. Brilliant. Because actually, yeah. look. <laughs> look at that. How easy is that now to thread? You're literally, sorry, I'm putting my whole piece through here. Hey, why not? Look at that. <laughs> there we go. Thread it. Done. You can see you nook it up just there. It holds it in place. It closes up just as it's meant to. And you can use these in that way. These are, and you're getting loads of different sizes. This is the largest one for you. But you are getting six of them in a pack. And they're $2.95. They're absolutely flying out, everybody. I mean, they're absolutely flying out. This is the thing that you have been waiting for. Look, they're still really fine, though, aren't they? I know, they're brilliant. I've had those. And the nice thing is there really is no... Um, head that can get snagged or anything no. like that and no. you really don't have any trouble to thread your, your, um, your thread on. I always struggle with those. See, These those are your ones original here. ones aren't they? These yeah. are the normal ones. So let me yeah. just show you. I don't know if you can see the eye. Can you see that? I just hold it. Let me get one that's a similar size to that needle. That one's a similar size. Hang on, sorry. Fingers and thumbs. Loads of you flying in. So those are the same length. I think we can kind of agree on that, can't we? Can we agree on that? Same length, pretty much. This is the eye. On an original. Can you see where it ends? Just there. Mm. Let me show you on this one. I'm working with these new nails. <laughs> but look at the length of that. Look at how much bigger that is. Yeah, they're brilliant. Than that. I mean, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? It's an absolute no-brainer. Get your hands on them whilst you can. They're absolutely flying off. Names have gone off at the end of my screen yet again. These are really and let me just show you two actually because i think that's one thing that people will be thinking okay well that's great i can still thread them but actually we're going to be able to get them through my seed beads look at the thickness of them yeah, one of great. these is your original needle and one of them isn't they look the same don't they but look one of them you can see that's your original this is your split so they're the same kind of thickness too loads of these flying out how many do we have We've got a couple, um, we've got a fair few, but not hundreds, so do be quick as you can. Half of the stock has gone now, um, so no, do I'm be quick. No, they're great. Oh, I they wanted these for ages. Okay, I'm back with you, lovely lady. <laughs> right, so I did the fiddly bit, um, and this is what it looks like. So you would place a seed bead on top of every other bead, so you have like a sort of offset pattern. Um, and this is what you would keep doing. So I would just now, as you can see here, there's a little bit of a gap. So that means that I would pick up an 11, go through the seed bead that's raised, and pull my needle through, like so. 
and this would close off the row and I would just keep filling in the gaps until I get to the end of the row so it's shifted and again and once usually once you've done a couple of rows um, it gets much easier um, and easier to handle as well so I'm just going to go through the next one the next one and you would just keep doing that and the next one now when you get to the end you just need to turn back pick up another seed bead and this time just come back through the next raised bead what I usually do is I just rotate everything to work from right to left and then just carry on and you can go as, 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 uh, as long as you want to, but for this is what we're creating now is actually the, um, the bit that's wrapped around, which is the section here. First of all, if you can see here. So, so we're creating this first, okay? So basically you would just carry on what I've just done until you get a good length like so, okay? So because this design, I'm going to show you how to put the a pattern in between as well. It's really easy. Um, when you have a thicker bead like this one, what happens to the design, it kind of expands sideways a little bit, which is quite nice, it's quite a nice feature, so these seed beads work really well with that. So what I've done, what I've done here, I would kind of find the center point of the pattern here, so I'd count the holes, so it's one, two, three, four, five, and um, because it's five, then I'll probably pop a bead in the center here, so I'm just going to fill out the gaps, like so. So, all right, there we go, until I get to the center. Obviously, the, um, the pattern changes. It's so versatile that you can make so many different designs. Oops, what's happened here? Sorry, this is in the way now. They're all hooked up. Because we've got all the demo pieces set out. Got all so the demo all getting pieces to know set each other. out. Yeah. Sorry. Just to make you aware as well, um, just to let you know, there's loads and loads and loads of you um, buying twos um, of these. I would suggest to you, if you're buying one, let me just remind you that these are still needles. And you know what your needles are like, they bend, they sometimes snap if you're not careful with them and everything else. I've not seen these, um, I've never been able to bring these to you before. So my advice is if you've just got one, if you've got the budget for an extra 2 95 I as a friend would suggest you get in the other one because you know what it's like when you bend them and stuff and um, we've only got 47 of the needles left just to make you aware and um, so just a little heads up something to think about right sorry about that so That's now right. we're back on track so I'm just going to add another seed bead and uh, I'm going through the hole. <laughs> I don't know what's happening tonight sorry don't worry that's yeah, the thing, though, yeah, if you go through yeah. the wrong one, you can always just take it back. And well, that's, the, done, easy, that's the easy bit with seed beading, because you can either just uh, go back through the same hole or just remove the thread from the needle and, you know, pull it out really quickly and then start re-threading it. So once you get to the centre, um, the patterns are really easily created. You even get little softwares online that sort of create patterns for you. Um, so it's really easy to make, and I just kind of went by whatever I liked at the moment. The important thing is when you, when you create it, you have to uh, go back and mirror everything on the way back, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. So I'm just going to go. Last chance to on the lead needles, I'll let you know, so um, less than 30. So once you get to the back, you flip it over and you work your way back. So. I um, need a couple more of the green seed beads. You got absolutely, literally, like hundreds of seed beads in, in some of these tubes. So, you Loads, know, you yeah. can just keep adding and adding, can't you? Yeah, you've got plenty. So I'm just going to carry on and add another seed bead to the side here. You can do this with... Um, the same size seed beads, uh, but different colors, so then the design wouldn't expand, um, but it would slot in seamlessly. So it's quite a lot of fun to actually experiment with different size seed beads as well. Yeah. So you can see how slotting these beads in kind of expands the whole design, all right? So then I'm going to add the next one. And then this is basically just what you would keep go doing, um, and then work your way back, flip it over, and then just carry on. 
on your way back. So now you could obviously expand this design um, and and grow it. Um, for this one, I'm just going to, to close it off with another of the eight toes. Um, and this is sort of the design that I've made. And you would just keep zigzagging back and forth. And from now on, you would only use the 11 -0 seat beads to fill in the gaps um, until you've actually reached this sort of stage. All right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to show you how to um, join the two ends together. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to carry on a little bit with the... Um, the beads. I think you've got something else here, so I'm just going to fill this out. So I've got a few of the bits. I've got thread zappy bits, and I've got serious big bundle. Which one do you want to do? Zapper refill. So, you know I was talking to you about your threads and how you, you need loads of threads and you need to finish off and cut your threads. These are a great way to finish your threads. These are a great way of finishing your threads. Whether or not it is your cords, whether or not it is cords of organza, cotton, silks, um, I'm trying to think of the one, satin. These are going to slice through it like no one's business. Now, if you've got the thread zapper, you'll already know all about this. These are the refill. So you know the bits that essentially... Um, well, the filaments, if you will. These are the bits that actually you heat up and cut through. You know what it's like, as with anything, like your light bulbs, they have a, a life expectancy, they have a timeline on them, they have a certain amount ish of uses. You're going to need a top up, so if you have got the thread zapper, maybe you've only, um, maybe you've you already used the spare one, because I know some of them now come with spares. Maybe you've already used the extra one and you're on your spare one now. Don't get to that point where, you know, it's on its last legs and you have to wait for us to get them back in, because it might be six months. Um, you have got here for you your thread zapper finishing, your filament tips, and this is your price point. Two pounds and 95 pence for both of them. For two of them to help you keep up to date. You, you know exactly what it's like. If you've got a bulb in your house and it goes and it's a bit of a funny bulb. Do you, you have those odd bulbs? I've got one bulb in my house that's not, not like any of the other bulbs. Anyway, <laughs> pet peeve. Anyway, um, yeah, you get that one bulb and then it's really irritating when it goes, isn't it? I, 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 the, I've been stumbling around in the spare bedroom at night <laughs> trying to... Why am I in the spare bedroom at night? Because that's actually where I dry my clothes. Does anyone else do that? That's where I hang my clothes up to dry. I've like clothes all in there. Anyway, it's annoying. It's a pain. If I had the bulb underneath my silk with the rest of them, it would have been fine. But no, I didn't. So get them in whilst you can. Two ninety-five for two. Well done. Okay, now, Gia. Right, okay, so once you've created your section and you've got your little design in the centre, you're just going to have to fill your... Um, thread first. So what I'm going to do at this stage is I'm going to show you how to actually fill up uh, this tube. It's a little mm -hmm. fun tube, all right? So um, I'm going to cut a section. To make the actual length of the necklace, you need um, roughly about half of what's in the tube, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm just going to, for demo purposes, just cut a little section off here. Um, and then what I've done at the end is just tie a very simple knot, like so, um, and pull that nice and tight like that. So that's not going to go anywhere. It's really nice and tight. And then what I've used is very high tech, is um, a pencil mm -hmm. just to widen. And it's a bit like pulling a sock over your foot. So just that gives you a little bit of a tube Great. for the seed beads. And then what I've done here um, is taken the seed bees and just simply pour that in. You're just going to have to go really slowly. I hope you can see that there. It's actually easier if you have a funnel. Mm. Would work really well. I wish I'd had one. Even for general use with seed beads, a funnel is fantastic. So I'm just trying to get all of the beads in there. Right. Just try to get them right. Okay, so that is oh, he's got one little one. So that would work really well. Yeah, these are brilliant, and these with that fantastic little jobby that's coming. I've up only got later. twenty of them. So, Don't be annoyed oh. at me, please. 
So anyway, this is how you would fill the tube. You can really, really expand it. Um, and it can go quite wide. If you wanted to add, like I've done in the other design, you would just slide one of those little um, uh, deli cars over um, and kind of make this into a point, like so. And then just simply slide the deli car over the end and then just add more. You can just you can manipulate it to make it into a ball or um, a tube or it. yeah, it's fantastic. It's so much fun, so much fun to play with. <laughs> Anyhow, so you do that, and before you actually close, you're just going to have to be careful not to to make it too full, obviously, otherwise you're going to just expand it too much. So you just be gentle with it, but it's fantastic. It works really well. So before we finish off, um, you would obviously want to test to see that your bale fits around. Um, your neck piece, okay, so it would test that before we close it, so this one would be a bit too short for that, but I just want to show you how to, to close it off. Mm -hmm. So, you've got your PCO, you need to make sure that both ends of your bale um, are opposite, so basically they need, to, they need to slot into each other, if that makes any sense, I don't mm. know if you can like see. Like zip. Yeah, like a zip. Okay, so then um, actually, we're on the wrong side, so I'm just going to go back through to the other side. Because it's always best to start off on the side with a raised bead, I find. So here we go. Go through. And there we are. Hi everyone, what a beautiful design and a great tutorial. Anthony and Shawom. Will the £10 file line work with size 10 needle, please? Thank you. Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest, but I think so. Let's have a look. £10 file line. I think it really pretty much fits with... It's um, and fine. Yeah, it's very fine. Um, I'm not too well worth with Are these size sizes. 10 or size 12? I'm not sure. You can't remember yeah, what size needles these are. I can't. No. I've had these for so long, I don't actually remember See? what they are. I but think I they're a 10 or a 12. 10 or 12. I, I wouldn't want to say to be totally and absolutely yeah. honest. I imagine that it would. I've not seen any of our fire line not go through the ones that we bring to you. Worst case scenario, 30 day money back guarantee. Give it a go, give it a go. Thanks for your text. So once you're here, um, we're just going to zigzag our thread through. Yeah, that's a lot of fun to actually put these together. It's very satisfying. It's kind of like zipping up a, a zipper. Um, and so just pull that through and then find the next one, like so, pull that tight and then zigzag your way to the end, like so. It's very simple. And got a couple of more to do. Mm -hmm. People are asking about my seed bead bundle. It's coming up for you in a minute or two, there literally a minute. And voila, and it's almost as if there is no, there's no seam whatsoever. Isn't and that, that it, uh, it's a lot of fun. As I say, it's very satisfying to actually get to a stage like that. I really yeah. enjoyed doing that. And you could that, see how so. quick and easy that was as well. Yeah, Nancy, really thank you so much for showing us those techniques. Let me just okay. really quickly bring these in on your screen. This is imperative. Do Ooh. you follow fashion? Are you a dedicated follower of fashion? If not, don't worry, neither am I. But <laughs> I do keep my eye on the trends that are going on because I think it really can help seeing what you're going to be able to sell, if I'm honest. I make and sell um, at Germany exhibitions um, and, um, well, in many different ways, I suppose. But um, I always keep my eye on the trends. Even if I don't follow with them myself, I know it's something to worthwhile keep your eye on. And this is something that I saw on catwalks for your spring summer next year this is something very much inspired can you see how you've actually got the seed beads down the dress there this is a really beautiful this is a collection of mauve and purple together boom high fashion uh, and, and by high fashion i mean like high fashion <laughs> and high fashion you have got it all here you really do look at this collection beautiful. i think that's stunning i love this 
these are analog colors aren't they um pretty much when you're working with analog colors so imagine the color wheel the analog colors are generally the three or four stages next to each other that's pretty much what we've got here or you could also imagine it as one segment of the color wheel and you've got the different kind of tones of it running through as well couldn't you you have got here a really stunning stunning collection now you might look at these and actually well you might someone might say to you okay i want you to get same sort of hue, slightly different tonalities and textures. And actually what you can end up with is a really clashing finish. Have you ever done that? I've done that a couple of times. I love blue at my clothes. I wear quite a lot of blue. But if you're not careful, you can wear two types of blue that are just slightly too similar. And actually they look horrendous together. They look so bad together. You can do the same with colors. You can see here that this has been created by one of our um, designers who has got in their mind the perfect color matching. If you took maybe even just the um, the mauve color and you made it two tones darker that would clash horrendously then with with the the dark topaz color wouldn't it it would just look out of place we've given this the thought we've given this the design the only thing we haven't given this if I'm honest is the price tag it deserves because genuinely your, your, your graphics are now in genuinely this is an absolute shocker peg c03 that's your code come on in and get your hands on it whilst you can you've got to be quick on this one you really 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 do okay everybody you've got a massive amount in here let me talk you through the colors you've got your raspberry color here these ones are um, as you can see really beautiful got a gold lining to those ones they're pretty they're my favorite and um, i've got for you here your beautiful mauve a little, lovely sort of matte like finish to these mm. ones You've also got in these, this is, this is, oh, I love these I love ones. Those God, too. These those. ones are my topaz um, colour and you've got there, can you see this almost rainbow like look of colour? It's stunning, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to be a bit of a maverick here and I'm just going to, oh, you're a love. Oh, it's going as fast as the speed of lights pretty much, I'm saying. Oh, these are gorgeous. Not surprised at that price, are you? £18.95. Wow. That is an exceptional, exceptional deal. That is why they're selling out. I've probably got about ooh, another one minute and then they will be gone. So I do apologise if you're missing out. Did try and give you a heads up. They're wow. stunning, aren't they? Really stunning. Yeah. You have got here as well your eggplants, just to let you know. If you've never, if you've never heard of eggplants, it's an aubergine. Aubergine. We just don't call it that. We don't. I call it eggplant. Do you? Oh, you're a maverick too. No, that's what I like about you now, Jeff. Um, okay, everyone, very low in stock. I'm last chance saloon in on this. Good luck to you all. And just to let you make you aware, I only have a few left, actually, of the original kit, um, which was this collection. Oh, we'll, re we'll recap it in a minute, in fact. 30 of them left. They're a goner. Thank you very much. Well done to you. What do you think of that price? Sorry, I shouldn't have that. That's brilliant. Left. No, it's a great price. It really is for those seed beads. I'm not wondering. They're nearly gone. Amazing. A little no bit wonder. of a queue. Don't yeah. hang up because we're taking you into account on this. So don't hang up because you will miss out, as they say. Um, um, you'd be able to incorporate these, actually, wouldn't you, into this oh, kit? Definitely. Thanks. It's gorgeous colours. I mean, they go with everything. The purple and the, the um, teal and the white. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I'm just thinking of these ones together. How would I put them? Do you know what? Hey, if you've just bought this one, these are the ones in the kit. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Brilliant. These ones were just in that bundle, yeah. but how fun are these actually with that? And that's from the original kit again. That's fun, isn't it? It's just beautiful. That is fun. All day long fun. Um, I think they look beautiful. The graphics for the kit are now in and on your screen. Let me just recap a route really briefly for you. This is your collection. You got um, this whole selection of seed beads you can see right now, including, but not limited to, the um, jazzy delicas. You've also got the fire line, which was the £10-pounder in the white. And you got mesh. Yes, I know. Um, and that is up on your screen right now. Nadja, thank you so much for your creativity. All right. Hi, folks. I use size 10 needles with various weights of fire line, and so far I've had no issues at all. And that's from Danny. Thank you so much. I hope that helps. He was looking at it before. Thank you so much for your help on that one. It was Clary, wasn't it? Um, a tip I learned to get fire line through a needle take your pliers, flatten the end about two or three mm. mil. Yeah, because the needle, the eye of a needle's flat. 
Mm. So putting something round through it doesn't yeah. really work that well. Um, do we have any of these needles left? Because, don't forget, if you are wondering or worrying, a re will I get me called through there? I've just done these ones for you. I've got 11. Oh, sorry. These are needles. Just as fine as you, you would expect. Um, but, well, way easier, basically. Way easier. Meh. Loads of them. OK, I am heading on over here. Now, do do me a favour. Let me know. Give me a little clue as to what we've got coming up in the second kit. Just a little saucy song. Oh, something, some absolutely amazing cabochons. 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 Coming up in a bit. I'm heading on over here. You coming with me? I'm going to bring my brew. That's all right. A bit parched. Bring me brew. It's not really a brew, it's a coffee. I don't call coffees brew. Do you? No, me neither. Anyway, I'm going to sit on up here. And we are going to remind you of just a quick thing that I've got coming up for you at half past eight. It's half past seven. Where is this time going? What are we pre-ordering? Ah! We're opening this up for pre-order for you now. That is exciting. I didn't realise you did this on The Late Show. I did not know. You don't always, apparently. Don't always. We have got for you here an incredible high-end quality Labradorite. Now, what you can see is beauty and wonder and um, integrity of the genuine gemstone across this strand. It's stunning. And if you want to get your hands on it, now you can. Let me explain the pre-order to you, if I may. You can ring up now and you'll be able to pre-order this. It's a lengthy strand. If you want to learn a bit more about it later, then I will tell you a little bit more about it. Oh, a little bit more about it in a little bit. But this is coming up for you in an hour. And look at those, look at them. Oh, cha, 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 cha. You have got um, the opportunity to ring up free phone number 0800 644. Sorry, I keep getting absolutely captivated by these. Blimey. Um, look at that. Um, 0800 644 655. You just order it in the normal way. If you go online right now onto our um, page, you will be able to see it. It says something like, Ooh, get it now before it's on air. Um, in a little box in the corner. And that's the one you want to click on. It is there. It is there. Live interneting. Oh my goodness, is that live? I don't know, is it? Let's prove it. Ooh! Ooh! I want you to point, I want you to make refine, say, e fine. Whoa! E fine. Oh, it's e fine, that. Sounds like someone would say up north. Oh, that's e fine. Anyway, how about I bring to you now a little parts of rose gold spaces here they are now these are beautiful these are really really wow actually more sizable than the ones i'm used to seeing i thought these were the little ones wow they're huge okay these are mammoths wow this is good okay so this it's good because it means you're getting loads of metal and it's really good too because it means you're getting really sturdy sturdy finish let me see if that'll stay up there it will cool and um, you have got here a really wonderful big amount of your rose gold they're much larger than the ones i'm used to seeing i think the loop's the same size but actually there's a lot more metal they've got more depth to them because they've got more metal that means that you have um well, i suppose more <laughs> more expensive elements within there haven't you and um, you've got more of the maybe thing you want the thing you're looking for rose gold everywhere at the moment it's in hair dye it's in fabric it's in makeup it's in nail varnishes it's in my new um sunglasses that i bought it's everywhere absolutely everywhere you have got rose gold in all locations of jewelry and pretty much the fashion world why do you think rose gold is so popular just because it's such a warm color i think it just goes with so many gemstones it's absolutely gorgeous with just about everything mm. it's warm it's it goes with gold goes with silver you can mix it with different metals yeah um I just like working with it in general it's I've just got, uh, it's one of my favorite um, metals to work with the color 
Rose gold. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It goes with everything. It's absolutely stunning. Sorry. Um, Gary's laughing at me because I was just putting this face. It's because I've just put it on the tourmaline. And A, it looks incredible. And B, I just love that noise. It's the little things in life that make me very happy. Have a little look at these. Look at those. Wouldn't that be beautiful? That's the great thing about these. You don't even just have to put it on a chain. That's so sizable, much more sizable than you've seen. You can put it over whole gemstones. Well, that's easy peasy lemon squeezy, isn't it? I love these. You're getting three of them. There's a massive amount of metal. Look at that. Way over three and a half grams of precious metal in there. When you're buying precious metal, you will buy it for its weight. And the more weight, the more money. These are much more in weight than I'm used to, but the price point isn't £12.95. Yes, it's genuine 95 Each and every single one says that on there, so you know you're working with the top notch. Now, I know this is a little bit of a quirky, quirky, quirky one, but I'm throwing it out there. Mixed metals, bang on trend. Bang on trend. I've been for, well, me, me and Kerry have been chatting about it for ages, haven't we, Kerry? It, it's everywhere. How about on the chain I did for you a moment ago? I know that's a bit quirky if maybe mixed metals isn't your thing, but actually, even if mixed metals isn't your thing, it goes so well with the pearls. Don't you think? You could have that as the centre of your necklace. It's going to make it sit really nicely and you've got that less likelihood of the um, clasp rolling round to the front, which absolutely grinds my gears. £12.95. This is at the bottom of your screen right now. The price we managed to do is a bit of a sneaky one. Um, and it's at the bottom of your screen. It's twenty one ninety five for you. But I think they work so nicely together. It'd be rude not to. Obviously, add on the lobster claw clasp if you need to add a clasp to this because it doesn't have them. But, you know, and if you don't have them. But just as, just as an idea, just some I'm throwing out there. Um, if you love rose gold, I've got a gemstone that actually is kind of the antonym, in fact, of rose gold. But uh, because of that, I think it works. Love school class at the bottom of your screen. Do you see what I mean? Do you see? how that blue is almost highlighted and enhanced by the warmth and the heat of the rose gold. This is not your everyday London blue topaz. Can you see how that color is different than normal? If you can't, well, I'll try and show you a little bit better later on when I bring it to you around about sort of nine, I think we said. Um, it's stunning. It's not your normal London blue. It is something different and still beautiful it's coming up for you soon well done everyone on the rose gold good work to one and all i've got loads more treats coming up for you you're gonna love the next kit um i've got another pearl i've never seen those before wow um pearl coming up for you um as a start by very soon how's your saturday night going saturday night da, 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 da. Saturday night, I feel the air is getting hot. Pretty I think baby. of the words. Pretty baby, you're not wrong. Do you remember you used to do that when you were younger, that dance? Was it just me that always turned the wrong way? Uh, and everyone else gone the wrong way. Oh, and I'd mix it up with the Macarena as well. Yeah, but you did with Saturday night. Where next? Oh, no, that is the Macarena. I've done Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Oh, wow. Wow. No! Where? How? Where did you find this? Stop it! Kyanite! Kyanite! Incredible! I've had a kyanite on for you before. Um, <laughs> wow, okay, kyanite rare gemstone. Very rarely get to see it. Very rarely. It's made up in this, like, almost unimaginable manner that takes thousands and thousands and thousands of years. I'm talking millennia here. Um, what I'm about to bring you is I'm going to make your everyday kyanite look like a walk in the park. Like just something that happens every day. This is incredible. Imagine kyanite at its most fun, at its most exciting, at its most summertime glamour. Boom. You've got it here. This is the most unique and individual colour 
totally natural mint kyanite. Oh my goodness, isn't that incredible? You know, I was talking to you earlier on about vintage rose gardens and I was talking to you about um, the colours that we're seeing at the, you know, the Tatton um, show and stuff like that. Look at what, it, what this does. Let me bring that to you. So this is the tourmaline I did for you before. Really pretty, lovely tourmaline, really nice, really vintage. Let me make it rose garden. Boom. How well does that work? Wow. These are like the foliage kind of curling and swirling and hugging each and every individual bud that is about to bloom and flourish. That's what this is, isn't it? It's that freshness. It's that vitality. This is your new life colour. Do you know what I mean? When you see new life, when you see new buds, when you see new, almost the cycle of plants as they come in and out, that's what this is. It's the new colour, it's the new bud. It is beautiful. It's not any, It's not like any other green, is it? It's not an appetite green. It's, it's less sort of uh, bitter, if that makes sense. You know, <laughs> colours have taste, you know what I mean? It's certainly less bitter. It's, it's, it's um, less... Um, zingy, less sour almost than peridot. It's got more of the blue green to it, hasn't it? Do you know what? The way I always find London blue topaz, the colour really hard to explain. And I almost describe it as a steely blue. I would describe this as a steely green. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing else like it, is there? I doubt you You might have 30 strands of peridot, 30 strands of other kyanite, 30 strands of, um, um, I don't know, quartzes, and I doubt any of them are quite this colour. This is individual, this is in, uh, very unique, and this is from an individual and very unique gemstone anyway. Let's, you're so joking me. I've just heard the price. Okay, listen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try jewellery maker maths. <laughs> I have got for you one of the rarest gemstones out there. Okay, one of the rarest gemstones. So it's one of the more executive, one of the more expensive gemstones. Okay, yeah, fine. I then <laughs> go, okay, so this is the price. Here we are. Yeah. I'm now going to go a little bit rarer because we don't, how often have you seen Mink Kyanite? We have see it. I'm then going to go, but actually, guess what? It's been made that way by Mother Nature, naturally. Okay, prices again. And yet, jewellery maker Matt says, Barting! We've taken it lower than I would normally... That is incredible. Do you know what? If you want something a bit different, if you have maybe got a collection of your, your, your certain gemstones, you've got 40 strands of this and 60 strands of that, and you want something to maybe add a little bit of new life to your collection, not only have you got the new life green hue of this, but also you've got a little bit of new life and a bit of new something in the fact that this is so different and stand out. I didn't even know green kyanite existed. Yeah. Well, you can get lots of different varieties of green kyanite. Usually green kyanite is one that when you get it in natural daylight, it's almost like fern, you know, a fern, quite dark, quite dark green um, with, with sort of a lot of blue behind it. Sometimes you'll get a green kyanite and actually in the studio, you can't tell it's green. And we have to say to you, genuinely get it home, you know, natural daylight, etc. This is mink kyanite and it is like the greenest of green, isn't it? Amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. Such a juicy green. Oh, juicy. Do you know what you said, juicy? And I'm thinking apple green gemstone. I'm thinking jadeite. Yeah. Jadeite alongside this. Wow, the gorgeous. Huh? I don't know if Beautiful. you've got any jade, jadeite in your collection, but I think that would work really nicely. Jadeite. In between this, if you've got any at home, what a great combo. Can I just say to all of you, well done everyone, genuinely, I get so happy when you get really unusual and quirky gemstones, because I think it just, it just, I think replenishes your love for genuine gemstones, and this is a great one, at that price, so affordable. Well done everyone, um, very special deal. Do not go anywhere, because I have got so much coming up for you, including this, star by. <laughs> Pearls. Elegant, wearable, so beautiful against the skin. And in this instance, all of that delicacy and beauty in massive sizes. I mean, there's no sort of dainty and polite way to put it. These are absolutely huge. These are the size of something that, I don't know, what's his name, the guy in the app? 
runs away from boulders. What's his name? Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones would run away from something like this, wouldn't he? Do you know what I mean? That is how huge they are. They're massive. I'm not great with names. The guy in the hat. <laughs> These are huge. Eight by nine mil on your near round pearls. Now, the bigger the size, the more dynamic the look. And I actually think the more sort of ooh, elite and the more sort of um, captivating, really, because they do kind of grab you right. More traditional as well, aren't they? Much more traditional. If I think of the things that, you know, my grandma and my great grandma were wearing, they were wearing pearls like this. They aren't wearing like little small beige ones, they're wearing ones like this. These are absolutely mammoth. And because they're so large, there's a lot of necra that's gone into these. Um, and because there's a lot of necra, that's obviously kind of one of the ex expensive processes that, that, that the um, pills give to you. But also, what you have with this is you have got one of the most expensive organics in the world. So expensive, in fact, that um, these are, are part of one of um, a story about the most expensive banquet in the world. OK, so this is a story and it's, it's said to be absolutely true. Pliny the Elder has written about it and many people after him. Essentially, what happened was Cleopatra, as in Cleopatra, the queen, and, and, and um, Mark Anthony um, basically had a bet with each other. And they had a um, deal, a bargain, that meant, um, would you actually um, like to see who could have the most expensive banquet? To see whose land, whose, whose area was, was, you know, the most sort of privileged and had the most expense to it. So what happened was, Mark Anthony was said to go around to Cleopatra's first, and um, Cleopatra said, I have this huge banquet laid out for you, the most expensive and most elaborate things out there available, the most expensive. And the first thing it was said that she gave to him was a glass of wine. And in front of him, um, they took one perfectly round white pearl, crushed it up and sprinkled it into his wine. And it's believed that Mark Anthony, right there and then at that point, said, I don't even need to come to your banquet. You've absolutely won. You've absolutely done it. Egypt rules all. You are the kind of the richest as there were. And Pliny the Elder has written about it. And so many other people wrote about it since. Um, that goes to show the prestige that has always been aligned with these. And it's still aligned to this day, isn't it? It still is. When you think of pearls, you think of something high end. You don't think of something. You don't think of it as an impulse purchase, do you? Pearls are not an impulse purchase usually. I mean, outside a jewelry maker. If you want to go and buy a pearl, um, you know, bracelet, for example, or ring, it's something that you save up for. It's something that you treat yourself to for a big birthday. But like I say. With jewellery makeup are a bit weird, a bit different. Luxury size, tiny price. Get ready for it, everyone. £32.95 for genuine, natural in colour, near round pearls. That is your opportunity, everyone. Yes, okay, you could go out and pay £150, £250 on a fully done necklace. You absolutely can, but you don't have to with us today. You really, really don't. This is your chance. This is your opportunity. You've really got to be quick. Um, um, it's such a shock of a price that floor manager Paul just threw things around. Look at this. He's kicking it now. Look at it all everywhere. Um, <laughs> oh, got to get cleaning that up. Um, but that genuinely is a sensational deal because if you do your research, and do you know what? We're heading to a break in a couple of minutes, so you can do it there. Just research for me. Nine mil pearl studs. Just do that for me in the break if you're just twiddling your thumbs or you're thinking, should I get myself another wine? In answer to that, yes, it's Saturday. Go ahead. Um, but, but do just have a little look, maybe on your phone now. Just have a look. Nine mil um, pearl studs. And just have a little look at the price. Because, obviously, for a pair of studs, you're going to need that many. And I can imagine £10 prices, £20 prices, £30 prices for those two easily. The fat jewellery maker give you all of these. I actually think it's something we shouldn't take advantage of. Um, 
because it's one of those things isn't it it really is it's it's one of those things that i think if you do become slightly nonchalant about something then actually it can have a detrimental effect mm. It can have a detrimental effect on you because it means that actually maybe you're selling your pieces on at a lower cost than you should. That then means that you're not going to be selling maybe as much as your jewellery because people are questioning is that the real deal. I also think if we do take things for granted, you know, things can change, can't they? If you take things for granted. For example, say, say um, I don't know, say you went into your favourite pie shop, okay, and, and you really like this one <laughs> specific pie oh i have a favorite pie shop i really do um you had your favorite pie and let's just say you saw it all the time all the time all the time and then actually they sort of took it up in price by a pound and then you thought well i'm not interested anymore really really liked it but i'm not interested anymore i'll just have it every now and again they probably wouldn't carry on stocking that pie would they <laughs> just a thought just a thought best analogy of the day <laughs> maybe not <laughs> maybe not but I am who I am. I can't change it. Sorry. Um, £32.95 for you today. We're taking those ones off for you now. Okay, everyone. Let me just let you know that the um, this is about half an hour away. Pre-order is still open, but only for a short time. And also, I have another incredible kit for you. If you love the likes of your cabochons you're going to absolutely adore what Nadia is going to bring to you don't go anywhere i'll be back with the team in just a few tickety boos the sun is shining we've had the hottest day of the year so far the paddling pools are out and everyone's topping up their towns so here at jewelry maker we've decided to bring you christmas in july as jewelry makers we know you love to be organized so join us on July the 25th and start planning your Christmas craft fairs and get designing those festive creations. Christmas in July, Tuesday the 25th. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. It couldn't be easier to buy from Jewelry Maker with all the information you need right there on screen. From the item code and the product description right down to the price. And whether you're buying at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, what are you waiting for? Simply telephone our free phone number or join us at JewelryMaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase.
If I say cabochons to you, this is just a bit of a heads up. Hi, by the way, I'm Becky. Um, if I say cabochons to you and I say cabochons in a kit, what springs to mind? Be honest, Labradorite. Probably. Quartz? Maybe. Moonstone, that might be another. If I say, if I say cabochons, usual kit, what do you say? What, what make you expect to see in a cabochon kit? What well, definitely, stone? definitely Labrador or maybe Moonstone, yeah. Moonstone exactly. Moonstone, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's kind of those, isn't there? There's those. Dum ba 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 dum. Why the Apprentice music? I hear you ask. No idea. Opal isn't what you expect, is it? <sighs> what on earth? are we bringing to you in this incredible collection oh my goodness how incredible oh i have got so much coming up for you in this kit i'm just giving you a heads up it's not in this hour that was the ultra suede yeah it was soft as a puppy's ear oh it's so good um really lovely I love this. This kit, I'm so excited about coming up for you at approximately seven minutes past nine. Um, okay, which is coming up after that thing. I've only got 20 of them. People are going to go, on, you only have 20. But it's going to be worth it. Okay. Are you putting it on pre-order? Okay, listen, we've had people asking. And we pay attention to people who ask. When they ask politely, we ignore people who don't. But people who ask politely, we do pay attention. And people have politely been asking, because they've got something to do, whether or not we can bring um, this a little bit earlier. Now, we can't bring it earlier, because it's like set and locked into the schedule. But I am allowed to open it for pre-order. Dan has, Dan has done a little bit of blood and pressing and he's going to open it up for pre-order for you so our way of sort of saying thanks for being lovely this is your not so usual london blue topaz this is now available for you so if you want to get it on the web it should be up there in the today's product section if you have a little look there it is there it is I want it to say, um, refine, like, yeah, oh, oh, that's it, yeah, Re ref refine, there you go, yeah, good, that's real, that's, that's life, everyone, that's live time, live interneting, this is now available for you, I've just seen the price of this, put another 30 on, fine, wow, I've got 15, this is, stunning it is coming up in this hour so if you do want to find out more about it then it's worth it um you can do it then but if you are going out buy it now 30 day money back guarantee you aren't going to see that then i've never in all of my years seen a london blue topaz quite like that and i don't just mean here at jewelry maker i mean full stop um it's stunning okay it's on and gone that mines with mines that mines we're going to have some fast and furious deals for you right now so do your stretches, whatever you need to do. Get ready to do some ordering because we're going to bring you some great deals. Rose gold plated copper head pins coming up for you now. Head pins, what are they? They are a must. Um, when you do your first order with us, you get that booklet and there's a section in the booklet that says findings and it explains exactly what these are. Um, these are head pins. Usually they've got a ball on the end. We've got a little bit different and we've put them Put in, oh my days, we put a little bit of a, of a dotlet on the bottom. A dotlet. So it's a little dot, if you will, at the bottom. And these are very essential, aren't they, Nadja? Absolutely. Again, as I said, another uh, basic in your stash that everybody needs to make earrings because they are fantastic to make charms even with or just uh, thread on your beads to make earrings or even pendants. So you need those. A must, a need. And at three ninety five, you're not going to break the bank. Three pounds ninety five pounds. If you're lucky, you could probably have a little hands down the side of your sofa right now. Bet you'd find three pounds ninety five eventually. Bet you would. 
loads of hairpins as well. Little bits of chocolate, how do they get there? Anyway, I bet you would, because 3 95 actually is a small amount of money. That's the type of thing that, you know, you have your little change bit in your car and you look around and a, a pound's gone from it, it's rolled under your chair. That's the type of thing you'd find at the bottom of your car, isn't it? 3 95 for you for a must-have, for an essential that isn't going to go out of date. It's not going to, you know, um, sort of go out of style or fashion. Once you've got it, you've got it and you'll need it and use it as and when. Just missed out on the needles. Are there any more coming up? I'm going to be totally honest with you because I'm smiling like an absolute lunatic now. I don't know why, but I just read that as just missed out on the undies. I don't know why, but I did. You've missed out on the needles, yes, but I've got something similar coming up. This is something I've never seen before. The pebble. Pebble and needles, a big selection of your different size must-have needles and your storage case. So you use your storage case. I mean, the needles are just a bit of an added bonus, really, aren't they? But you get the needles in the case that you can use um, in there. And actually, let me have a little nose to nose. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just top them up. You can get a few in there. Okay. Um, coming up for you now, I've got a standard shaded opal. This is lovely and lengthy. Wow. That is a necklace. Oh, I look like a surfer, don't I? I look like someone who's just about to grab my board and surf the wave. I don't really know the terminology. These are your Ethiopian opals. Oh, look at that colour. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that intriguing? Now, let me remind you of something very, 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 very important. And actually, that's what I love possibly most about these. This is taking a very long time to make. For Ethiopian opal, do you know how long? Wow, that price is incredible. Do you? That price is incredible for the length of strands you've got here. Do you know how long it takes for a millimetre cube of this to form in general? Do you know how long it's taken for a one millimetre cube? Bear in mind, these are three mil in areas, up to six mil in areas. Hmm? Ethiopia? Do you know? What are we saying? For a mil a week? No. A year? No. 100 years? Close, but no. For a one millimetre square of Ethiopian opal, in particular the darker ones it's said to form, takes approximately five million years. Yeah? Five million years, approximately, um, for a millimetre square to form. Think about the history that these have seen. And yet still, they have that brightness and that life to them. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous... You are getting colour play. I will let you know that. I know it's hard for you to see, but trust me on this. 30 same money, but guarantee. Have a little look. You see it a little bit? You're going to see it even more when you get it home. You're going to see it even more when you get it home. Great quality, great colour. 21 95 for a very lengthy length. Well done, everybody. Nice to have a bit of a different shape as well, isn't it? How about I bring to you some purple coloured quartz? I did something similar in colour to this earlier. Oh, yeah, they do work well together. You're right, Dan. Oh, you've got an eye, haven't you? You've got two. In fact, have a little look at that. <laughs> We're going to do the lighter, smaller ones first, but then that's coming up. Just works well, doesn't it? I have got for you here your purple quartz. Really lovely, little delicate, sort of gentle look to it. £2.95, pence, no questions, no quibbles in your return policy. Just grab it whilst you can at £2.95. pence. That really is something very, very special. That is a great deal, isn't it? It's brilliant. Love the colours in those as well. Yeah. They're so nice and easy to use in little stretches together with those large... What, what are these? Amethysts, the other stones you had, look really, really nice and stretchy. Yeah, gorgeous, isn't yeah. it? It just looks so beautiful, really dainty and delicate, isn't it? Really sort of almost small in its colour, but actually the impact of it is fantastical, isn't it? Don't you think? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love them. They're really, there's a different hue of purple that we don't really see much in gemstones, I think. You're right. Really nice. You're totally right. Definitely unique individual, not quite the norm, if you will. Two ninety five is not the norm price either. But we're not norm here. We're jewellery maker. Two pounds and ninety five pence. Well done. Um, look at that. This is a ready done necklace. Let me prove that to you. Oh, they're chilly. <laughs> oh, I love those. Done. 
I mean, you would put a clasp on it, but... Oh, just look, because of the way that these are graduated around, I always look at these and think, that's a ready-done necklace, because look, they're even, like, knotted in between each... Four ninety-five For anyone who has ever pearl-knotted, I bet there has been at least 17 times where you've thought, I would pay someone £20 to finish this for me because it's doing my head in and the, the knot is that far away from the pearl and the pearl is sitting at a wonky angle and argh, you'd probably thought, you know, I'm just trying to put across to you how much time, even just the knotting takes mm. in there. But apparently, we don't charge for the extra time here at Jewelry Maker. These are mammoth, genuine quartz there at 4 95 When I see strands like this, it makes me think, why on earth was the first piece of adult sort of proper jewellery I brought myself a quartz that was... I've still got it now. I do love it. This size, in a ring, got it on sale. Just on the high street, not high, like at an expensive store. It was an amethyst and it was literally this size, no bigger. £165 on sale. This is a quartz just like an amethyst is. And I think, but the, look at the size of the ones in the middle. Four pounds and ninety-five pence. I think that's a great idea. Do you know what you could do? We were talking about this yesterday after work. Do you know what you could do? You could paint it, play conquers, beat everyone. <laughs> we were talking about that yesterday, weren't we? Because of the school school show it was. Four ninety-five. Um, just to let you know, people are keeping their eyes peeled on these. I've got this coming up for you. I've got nearly two hundred, so we're kind of happy days. Um, ages. Coming up for you now. Well, I never. I can't be sure that I've ever, ever seen Magnesite in this colour. Dying to give you this lovely denim-like hue. This, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? What would I wear this with? You know what I'm going to say. Your blue jeans and your white shirt. I know you absolutely would. Three pounds and ninety-five pence for you on these ones. But you could, this is one of those things you could just pop on, ready and raring to go. Very, very simplistic. What might you do with something like this, please, to really show off the beauty of each one? I would definitely put it in a stretchy, just keep them together because I think when you um, concentrate the, the gemstones like that, the colour just comes out more. Yeah. So I would definitely just keep them together. Um, maybe I would, because they're so big, I would put just a single one on a very fine chain to show off the one stone as a, as a pendant. Yeah, why yeah. not? You were saying about stretchy, I just showed you the drill hole, definitely not large enough. Stretchy bracelet will be explained in your beginner's pack mm. and it's essentially beads like this on a piece of elastic so you just throw it on don't even need a class but it's it's everywhere those things at the moment three pounds and 95 pence yes it's a genuine gemstone and yes it's yours for less than the price of a frothy coffee and half a muffin three pounds and 95 pence i don't know where you're buying half a muffin from but hey who knows weird things happen a three pounds and 95 pence well done everyone okay i love the bars <laughs> cocktail bars no <laughs> i love the bars in gemstones, the particular ones that have translucency to them. These are lovely. These are all individual. These are all individual and unique. And what I really like about them is they're two-sided. You've got that lovely kind of straight and then a little kick off on one side. And then on the back, you've got total softness and smoothness. Jewel sided, four ninety five, four pounds and ninety five pence. Oh, well, we've gone one better. We've gone one better for you today. That is something very, very special. Okay, yeah. Again, let me just remind you. Okay, if we sit and we take off, say, a pound, you might think, well, it's only a pound. Is that really going to make me think anything much? Remember, this was like a five pound strand, so we've taken off a pound. That's sort of 20, coming up to 25%, isn't it, that we've taken off the price of genuine gemstones. It's all worth it, and we do not, yeah, and we do it, you're right, Ben, and we do it on every single one that we have on the vault, and also, we um, don't do it every single day for you, so don't become nonchalant about things like this, and um, do always treat yourself to it whilst you can, because, you know, we always bring you great deals. The added extra is just brilliant. For £4.95, I'm trying to make this go up in price again, I'm not. £3.95 for you today. One of those on a ring. A little bit yep, of wire wrapping. Easy. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah. 
or even just a couple of gemstones in between each bar as a as a sort of neck piece for that it's really easy to just um thread together and put on so it'd be beautiful yeah, yeah. really really nice it'd be lovely oh do you know what it'd be really nice with in between oh some people are gonna say redders what are you doing i'm just thinking just an idea oh, just a little bit of glitter nice mm. mint kyanite minty fresh <gasps> one The quality of that is impeccable. If you're not thinking that's Morganite, who is? Is that one of the best quality barrels you've ever seen? Be totally honest with me, because it is for me. Let me just show you, if I may, okay? So the Morganite colours we normally get are this which again is beautiful, it's brilliant, it's really good, but look at the difference there. That's more of the Morganite hue that actually uh, connoisseurs would go for. And that's not the only one of its type because there's loads and loads and loads on here. There's loads of them on here. Wow, what an incredible array you've got. The strength of hue on this is impeccable. This is not a whisper of colour. This is a hi, hello, here we are. Each and every one of us slightly different. Each and every one of us with our own personality and generally with different kind of prices are connotated to them. This is what you want in some of the biggest pieces of Morganite we've got. I'm gonna do hands up in the air here with my research and with my info. I am GA trained and I, you know, just remember people who work here don't have to have that, okay? It's not something that we get made to do. We're not contractually obliged. Whether you're a presenter or a producer or whatever, you don't have to do it. We choose to do it. And I, I have gone sort of did the, the basics of it and then I've gone up to do other levels again because I want to, because I choose to, because it interests me. And I'm telling you that because I have done a specific section um, which basically talks about families. And I have looked, therefore, at, when I say thousands of pictures of different barrels, that is not an exaggeration. Not an exaggeration. I know full well when I see this colour... I would quite easily expect this colour to be connotated with the 700 to 7,000 and upward price bracket. The fact I've got not just that colour once, but so many times on this strand is epic. These are big pieces. Could I expect that for £700 somewhere? Probably. Could I expect the whole strand for £27.95? No, not anywhere in the world apart from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, take the rule book and, quite frankly... Throw it away sometimes, if I'm totally honest with you. That is incredible, a deal. For the size of these, for the strength in colour, I think that is impeccable. What do you think now, Jeff? I think it's gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. The different colours on there, really gorgeous. It's sensational, it. isn't yeah, it? Beautiful. I mean... I don't think I've ever seen a peachy colour in um, a Morganite like mm. that. I'm only used to the pink ones, so yeah. it's gorgeous. Yeah, it, it, it's it's it's... It's because they're usually the very expensive ones. If you were lucky enough to get the pearls earlier on, just as an idea, because I think the size and shape works so well, don't you? You could just pick out... Now, again, this is an estimate. I wish, you know... Um, um, if, if any of you do sort of make and sell pearl jewellery specifically, like the likes of Jan Dwyer or whatever, just let me know how much you would think about selling a pearl necklace like this. I know Jan Dwyer's start price on hers are £120, I think. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure they are. Um, and actually, imagine just that one Morganite. Take out the central pearl, put that one Morganite in. I wonder what that'll take you to now. If that's £120 there, how much would it be with just one of those in the middle? That's got to be another £50, hasn't it? Surely. Just for that one. That price point on your screen is exceptional. Well done, everyone. I, I do get really chuffed when you get really good deals. I really do like it. Mainly because I shop with Jewelry Maker as well. And if you're getting a good deal, that means I get a good deal the show if we've got some left over because I get the same deals. Say that to me again. Jump rings. A bit of an essential by all accounts. Um, we have lots of different sizes of jump rings. Really small ones to medium ones to the really large ones. Um, this is what a jump ring is. It's a circulate circlet? Circle 
is fine, of, <laughs> of metal that in this instance is open. So that means you can join them together, basically. It means that you can get a really lovely finish with these ones. We were talking about mixed metals not so long ago. And actually, with things like this, I think you're going to get, because you've got the four different colours, you could just go for three if you wanted, or maybe pick out your favourite two even. But pop them all together. They are. Can I say all look together? Don't they look pretty? Let me show you them, I think. Let me show you them on a chain. For example, the pearl chain I did for you earlier on. Just because they're mixed coloured pearls, aren't they? So, hey, why not? But look, something like that. Oh, I think that looks like a beautiful, beautiful design. Lovely little Mobius, done with all the colours. Really pretty, really easy. That's a pendant, what do you think? That's nice, that, isn't it? But the thing is, actually, I've only used four of the jump rings, and look how many you're getting. Absolutely loads. You're getting a selection of the gold, a selection of the bronze, accidental roll there of the old, sorry, bronze, bronze, the rose gold and the gold as well in there. So a big selection, really simple finish. You get the box as well, by the way. Um, so you get it all in one place. 16 mil they are for £24.95. I do know some people who actually use these ones as a way of teaching, as a method of teaching, because obviously chainmail teaching with little jump rings, a group of people is going to be quite tricky. Um, people might not be able to see it, but you know, um, you can really simply um, show people a little bit easier with something like this because they are larger. I mean, I think these are wonderful to have as a, a showing gauge. What else might you use them for apart from a lovely pendant like this, Mobius? Well, I quite often use them as a base for my designs because I knot my cords around them. So it makes quite a nice sort of circular and very symmetrical pattern if you use a jump ring in your designs Great right from point. the start. So you can use it for that or um, there can be great connectors between maybe two neck pieces. Yeah. Um, you can hang, suspend something from the centre and just make like a very simple pendant with them. There's, there are so many options. Yeah, there, yeah. So. And that is the great thing. It's yeah. option, option, option. Um, they just let you know the pearl um, is at the bottom of your screen at the moment. If you do want to get your hands on it, you can. Well done to everyone who's getting hands. 40 of each, just to let you know. £24.95. It is another one of your on and gone deals. Let me just remind you, literally minutes until I'm bringing you this. We're doing one more shop opportunity on this. Just look. One more shop opportunity and then I'll bring this in for you. Uh, oh, I'm about to bring to you now. That was a satisfying noise. That was really nice. Um, I'm about to bring to you now sapphire. Pink sapphire. What springs to mind for you when you look at this? Elegance. First word that pops in my head. Yeah. yeah. Elegance. Nice. I love that. It is elegant. What about you, Kerry? First word that pops into your mind when you look at this. We've had elegance. Prettiness. Prettiness. Totally agree. Director Ben, what about you? Sexy. Yeah, I get that. Why not? Yeah, definitely. It's got that kind of beauty to it, hasn't it? What about you, Dan? Sparkly. Totally agree with you. Completely agree. Paul? What? <laughs> what? What springs to mind when you looked at, for the first time at this pink sapphire? He's, he's here now. What springs to mind when you look at this pink Vitreous sapphire? Vitreous luster. He walks in and he backs out of the park, doesn't he? That's what you've got here. You have got all of those things. You have got that vitreous luster. That's essentially a sort of almost diamond-like luster, actually, that you have on the surface. You get sparkle. You get the prettiness. You get the elegance. You get um, all of that alongside, if we're honest, status. All of those things makes this an incredibly alluring opportunity. And I say opportunity because, do you know what? It's not a guarantee. I can't guarantee you're going to be able to get this. I can never guarantee that I'm going to be able to bring you the same strand again. Unless the only reason I could ever really guarantee that is, say, 
I know that you know we've got 500 of them and and we've put so it saves them over for a little bit over that's really the only time I can actually ever guarantee it I particularly cannot guarantee it on such a rare quality of of natural colored sapphire in this way soft demure and expensive looking Susan Soft in its colour, yeah, definitely. In its strength, got a nine on the mode scale. In its look, though, definitely. What was the second word? Memory like a goldfish, me. Honestly. Demure, yeah. Demure is absolutely and completely right. It is demure. It is, it is, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of ladylike. It's demure. It's, it's straight back, shoulders back. It's that in a strand, isn't it? And expensive looking. Note the words that Susan used. Expensive looking. Expensive. If this were to be in um, your hat and gardens, on your Bond Street, in your jewellery court, or in Birmingham, or um, you know, in your um, one in Liverpool, any of those locations, yes, expensive, full stop, possibly, because it is luxurious, because it is high end, because it is rare and natural and a fancy sapphire. Wow, um, that's what you expect. But Susan knows jewellery maker. She's buying online. She's chatting to us via the web, which means she's buying via the web. Expensive looking was her words. Are you serious, Dad? Okay, listen. Listen, everybody. I'm going to let you into a little something, something. Um, this is a really long story short. We've got a system that we work with. You know, we have like your own intranetty things, don't you, in work? That's basically what we've got here. And our internet shows the history on, on strands. So that means you can see when this was last seen, how long it was seen for, which presenter brought you, which producer, you know, the whole kit and caboodle. You can also see how much it sold for. Now, Dan has just told me that the last, what, one time, two times? The last two times, there's only a two history. It's only been seen the two times that we can see on the history. The last two times it's been on, 49.95 understandable that's incredible isn't it 49.95 for a natural price. rare fancy sapphire well you wouldn't expect that for something like that for the carrot weight for the beauty for the delicacy for the alluring look in nature for that luster for the for the incredible craftsmanship which makes these sparkles so even you wouldn't Today, the last two times it's been seen, it's 49.95. That's a great price. If you got it at that price, well done. But if you're getting it at this price, even better, well done. That's a 15 pound saving. 15 pound saving on one of the rarest, most unusually seen colors of sapphire. This is an incredible deal. Imagine this with the Burmese variety I brought you earlier on. You know, the really rich blue Burmese. I love blue and pink together. I think they just work. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? The Burmese sapphire paired with this, I mean, that would really make it pop. £15 saving I've done on this one for you. Now, I'll be honest, I can't guarantee that price again. I can't guarantee that. Actually, if I put my hands up the next time I bring this to you, it could be £49.95 again. But what I can promise you is I will still sit here and I can still sit here and say to you, if I bring it to you at £49.95, then actually you're still going to be getting a great deal. So I don't want anyone to think, I don't want anyone to think, oh, you know, oh, Becky Roman was doing this for £15 less, she can't possibly think it's a good deal at £50, because I honestly will. So if I do bring this to you at £50 and I sit here and say that's a good deal, I'm honestly going to be telling the truth. The fact of the matter is at £15 less, that's not a good deal, that's an exceptional deal. Well done to every single one of you. Do you know what? I could chat about that for days because the beauty and the quality of it is exceptional. Um, and I'm just thinking with the mink and I, hello, 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 hello. Just a quick one, I'm sorry. I've just seen them together and I have to show you, I have to. That is your bunch of roses, isn't it? Isn't that incredible? That's the mint kyanite. Um, I am going to have to bring it to you now. Um, well done to everyone who got that. That is a mammoth deal. Speaking of a mammoth deal, it is time. This gemstone is one that we've known about for a while, haven't we? We've known about it for a while. We've known about it in the instances of working with, of using it, of um, maybe the crystal healing and the mindfulness aspect of it. We've known about it um, um, in so many different guises and different ways. 
But actually, recently, it's not just been us who've known about it, is it? We have seen this in magazines. We have seen this on adverts. We have seen this in, in films, actually. Um, this gemstone, very recently, seems to have gone into a whole other realm of kind of consciousness. This is a gemstone that actually could have quite rightly gone mainstream in quality, but instead of going mainstream in quality, it's actually gone couture in quality. This is your opportunity to get your hands on one of the most dramatic shapes and qualities I've seen in a long time of your Labradorite. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I am bringing to you a true special, special gem. This has been everywhere. This has been everywhere. Um, we've known about it, as I've said, for a while. And I asked you actually earlier if you were to grade this in your mind. Let, I just want to recap that for you before I sort of stop talking to you about where this is in, in quality at the moment. Just remember and recap what I said about the grazing in your mind. Tell me where you'd put it. If you want to text in, do feel free to 60777. Is it a, is it a B? Would it be ungraded? Is it a B? Is it a C even? Um, is it an A? Maybe a double A? Do you have a little look at just, do you know what, I'm going to pick one at random. Here we go. This gemstone is everywhere at the moment, but it is couture. I have got a, do you want to do it again? Yeah, yeah, so it's random. I am bringing to you something which I have actually got the opportunity to bring you a gemstone that has been on catwalks so much recently. Remember, we're only just in summer 2017, but fashion has to move like a chess game a few steps ahead. And so already um, what you have is you have... Um, Fashion shows for 2018. I'm about to show you um, a little bit of an article actually written about a well-known designer and um, their move um, and their, it's been described by the likes of Vogue and Tatler had this in as well and I saw it on the CNN website as well I think. They are talking about this designer and their best in show for 2018 okay the best in show the best that this relatively well-known designer is talking about and they're talking about this gemstone the relatively well-known designer alexandra mcqueen alexander mcqueen is working with this right here right now for 2000 and 2018 have a little look on your on your screen right now that is a snapshot from the alexander mcqueen pieces from the alexander mcqueen 2000 and, for the 2018 summer and um, spring summer collection best in show this has been described by by some of the biggest and most fashionable pieces it's underlined labrador because it says it's a spelling mistake obviously it's not and um, that isn't me writing this piece either by the way this was taken from I think it was CNN that I took this from. Um, but, you know, that just goes to show, actually, doesn't that go to prove something? In fact, you know, that Rudyard is, uh, well, it's got a capital, isn't it? But some of the words in there, you, you know, the computer recognises. Labradorite still doesn't. It's still quite an unusual one. It's still quite a rare one. Yet you know full well that when that has been put as best in show by some of the biggest kind of people in fashion, you know that this gemstone is about to get known. This is today's... And if I'm probably honest, probably not just today's, but, but this year's <laughs> must have, if it's to be believed. If you want to own this, you know what to do, right? If do you want to own the gemstone that's been photographed literally a couple of days ago on Eva Longoria, it got photographed relatively recently on Michelle Obama. It has been on um, Octavia um, um, Spencer, who is um, the lady from The Help. I don't know if you've seen that really good film. She also does a, um, a voice in Zootopia, Zootropolis, whatever. Um, but yeah, this has been 
going on some of the most famous and I'll be honest talented um, women's kind of you know next decolletage out there if you want to join them you're going to want an elite quality aren't you I think this is it why because the shape of them is so unusual we don't get to see this shape often but also as a canvas as a back palette these are mammoth and therefore you have got the on vogue look and now you've got the on on screen graphics so do make sure you're coming through and grabbing these because the quality is abundant the, this is your opportunity everyone come on in and get I saw purples then so purple then, did you? Whoa, I love it. Okay, everyone, this is up and on your screen. Remember what I said to you about grading earlier on? If you didn't, let me recap you. So grading, grades are all, grading gemstones is always so weird. You know, tanzanite grading, which one do you believe? Do you know where tanzanite grading started? Do you know who started tanzanite grading? Grading, sorry. Do you know? The miners. The miners started it. It was the miners who began the grading system. And then GIA took it, and then the ICL took it, and then the Tanzanite Foundation took it, and they all came up with their own one. Anyway, grading systems are all a little bit higgly-piggly anyway. But if you ever look at Tanzanite grading systems, most places will agree on the top three. Um, what you have is an A is generally described as, um, you see little pinpricks of, of, of labradorescence, little pinpricks of it. Double A is generally described as sort of almost a 50-50 split. So you get labradorescence, dead, dead space, sort of no light movement. Labradorescence, dead space, light movement, about 50-50. Most places, and I say most, agree that if you've got one, two, three, four, or even up to 5% of a gemstone that's totally dead in colour, devoid of any light transfer, it's still a triple A grade. Take a look at these, and I'm even going to pick the one with striations in it, because even that actually across the stone would equate to less than 5%, wouldn't it? It would. It would. And some of these, I mean, some of these are 100% colour. Obviously, when you get them at the right angle in particularly, I mean, that is 100% at one angle or another, isn't it? Even along the sides, I'm getting chiller in the studio here. So realistically, you've got creme de la creme quality. And I want to talk to you about the shape, because the marquee is based on a lady's kiss. Um, it's not a shape we see often. How perfect is this for jewellery making? It's actually my favourite shape. I'm actually wearing a labradorite of that shape at the moment. Oh, you are? Yeah, 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 I have, yeah, yeah. You had it on before, because, because they are actually my favourite shape, and apart from pears, just because they're so versatile, they've got a, a nice sort of soft shape about them. You can wire wrap them, you can cram them, you can set them in metal clay. They're just absolutely perfect. I love the shape. Yeah, yeah it's great. Yeah. And I think that's what we have here, don't we? We have quality, we have beauty. We have, for me, a double A grade in quality of labradorescence, easy peasily. We have the, the gemstone of the moment, whether that be with the couture, um, you know, very talented women such as Eva Longoria wearing this and Michelle Obama wearing this recently. We've also got the on vogue and for the future, you know, catwalk showing this for spring, summer 2018. We have got it all. This might be today's must have, but actually it's this year's must have and next year's probably as well. This is your chance to own creme de la creme quality okay listen right. yep exactly right. okay listen I, I did say this before but I, j I know that it's part of my job role to look at prices but I'm dyslexic and numbers go in and they fall out of my head and let us do the same so I don't even bother looking anymore because it just wastes time I have no idea if I were to hand on absolute heart absolute hand on heart guess the price we were going to go to on this at jewellery maker prices 29.95 that's what I would have thought would have been yeah mm. and your face as that came in was exactly how I felt when that came in you didn't expect that either no, I, I really didn't that was amazing and you really? love this shape. You know yeah. it's one of the most wasteful yeah. shapes out there to cut. It's so wasteful. So you know to expect more, don't you? Absolutely. I really thought it was going to be in the 30 range. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's such a beautiful stone. They've got so so much lavender essence. The shape is just, oh, does it for me. So, yeah, great price. It, it, is, is. Mm. it is incredible. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put this out there. I'm going to be... Totally honest with you now. I'm going to be, <laughs> and it seems like, would you really? But it's true. This gemstone right here, I would pay 12 95 for. Why? 
because of the purples. Oh, I have actually paid something like that for a stone that size. Yeah? Yeah. Oh my That's word. the smallest one on the strand. And look at those purples. Let me hold it at a different angle just to show you. The smallest one on the strand. Wow. It's beautiful. And yet one of the most eye-catching. Look at the quality. Wouldn't you be happy to pay twelve ninety five for that in a ring? I would, hands down. Well done, absolutely every single one of you. Greater London, good work. Hello to Kent, South Yorkshire. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. It's dead. I feel like a bit of a, feels like a bit naughty being with you. I feel like I should be in bed. <laughs> um, it's really nice to be with you tonight. It really, really is. Um, um, if we haven't met before, hi, I'm Becky. I'm usually on the mid show. Um, I was brought on as your mid show sort of presenter many, many years, many moons ago now. And um, I don't really get to work on the late show that often. So it's dead nice to join you today. This really is an absolute absolute treat and absolute treasure it truly is and for this quality I'm over the moon I really am over the moon for you please do make sure you're getting your hands on this whilst you can £12.95 for you just look at the quality on that colour I mean it's incredible let me just show you again you know you know Oh, how many have I got in here? Do you know what? That's a good point to make. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen ish ish I've got on here. I mean, pick a gemstone number, please, between one and fifteen, Kerry. Seven. One, two, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? From the other end. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hello. 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 Dragonfly wings. I know that noise I made said more 1980s ringtone. <laughs> Look, he's a little smiling fish, isn't he? Can you see him? It's a Eyes, shark. Mouth, pardon? A shark. Yeah. Or a trout. Oh, I used to have a pet trout. Calls Harry. Oh, loves trout, Harry. Yeah, it's lovely. Anyway, well done, absolutely, everybody. A great deal there for you. Just thinking, too. One more opportunity before the not so usual, not so usual gemstone. London blue topaz. This is not your normal London blue topaz. I've never, I've seen this strand once before and I remember it, which is incredible. How did I have a pet trout? It lived in, it lived in a pond. I used, to, I used to live on a trout farm. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. How could I tell the difference between each one? Harry used to come to me when, it, when I called him. You think this is a lie? This is absolutely true. He used to go, Harry, Harry, and he used to come up to the surface of the pond and go, blub, 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 blub. No, it was Harry, because he was always just the one. It was Harry. Anyway, on and gone we're back to now. So let's bring you another deal, shall we? These are going to look great with your watermelon solar quartz. Oh, they'd be lovely. Have a little look. Isn't that fantastical? Are they quirky? Isn't that wonderful? I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love the colours, I love the texture, I'm loving the price even more. Oh, do you know what? Go, 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 get your hands on these whilst you can. You could probably even seed bead with these because of the, the size of the needles that I've got coming up these in the next hour, by the way. But because of the size of the needles and because of the size of the drill holes, they'd be, they'd be easy enough to do, wouldn't they? Absolutely easy peasily to do. £3.95 is your treat deal on these ones today. I've got loads more coming up. I've only got one hour and 11 minutes left of the show. Can you believe it? flying by um so please 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 do stick with us for the last little bit of it because i'm going to bring you more deals and more treats including the one everyone's been asking i'm literally going to give you a little flash of the product really quickly that was it not many 20 but i'm bringing it for you asap also got for you oh, oh some gorgeous gemstones and i've got for you some um the needle sorry the pebbles coming up and this kit too including but not limited to oh actually these are going really well with the colors what do you think oh, oh. 
I'm going to really quickly squeeze in for you another one that will go really well. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, we're bringing the graphics in for this for you right now. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit richer. This one for me here is a little bit more um, cherry blossom. You know, this one here is Japanese cherry blossom. This one here for me is a little bit more that changing tide of autumn. Do you know what I mean? This says spring, summer. This one says your autumn to winter. It's almost like looking over a canopy of a can, not a canopy, a canopy um, in say, you know, a, and a um, a forest and that changing colours that you get. It's um, three pounds and ninety-five pence for you as well. They'd work great together because they do look to be the same size, and they've also got that same sort of gemstone in 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 common, if you will. And um, a lovely ray of colour. I think it's going to work wonderfully um, with the strand I've just done but actually also with as I said the cabochons I've got coming up for you in not so long um, a really lovely finish you'll be able to get with these in particular if you maybe use them with chips and nuggets that you might have or if you were lucky enough to get those tourmaline which I think I've sold out now actually that I brought to you earlier on I think they've worked lovely alongside um, stretch your bracelet with these would be easy what might you do slightly more complex I think I'd probably knot them because they, and use them as like a neck piece for a really complex pendant just because of the colours, they really, they really stand out. Yeah. So I would definitely do something to accent a pendant I would make. Mm. Yeah. Very simple, you could just slide a sleeve over one of those um, uh, rose gold spaces we had earlier in between. To, oh I know, yeah yeah, yeah. That that's a good nice. idea, mm. lovely idea, those big big, big rose gold pieces we had for you earlier on. I think that looked lovely. I think with these, because of that colour, you could really go with a the nature theme yeah. as well if you wanted to. Okay, all. It's time. That's what this strand needs. I need you to take a moment, breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Because this gemstone is one of those gems that we very rarely see. And when we do manage to see it, we very rarely get to own it. This has been open for pre-order and people have already been treating themselves. I have a limited few. It's going to be worth it though, because I'm going to put my neck out on the nine a bit now and say this, but I do believe it to be true. If you're already lucky enough to own a London Blue Topaz Strand that isn't this one, I don't think it's going to look like this. It is a very different gemstone in a very different guise, and it's a star by. <laughs> London Blue Topaz in a very different look and finish than normal. To see this, you're going to have to get it home from Honest. 30 day money back guarantee. The colour of this is slightly more different than usual. Lesser of the steely blue, more of your, it's going to sound strange, but sort of waterfall blue. You know when you get waterfalls, I was lucky enough to go away with um, one of my best friends to America for a couple of weeks. We did a bit of a tour of, of California earlier on um, this year and we went to Yosemite um, 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 Reserve and they have some of the biggest waterfalls in the world in, in this incredible area. And that's what this reminds me of. It's that movement and that flow and that strength of, of a waterfall that crashes and brings down organics around it and kind of swirls and twirls and brings in all of these elements of kind of the, the, the details around it and actually how you get that sort of mist that is sometimes comes from, in particular, the larger ones that kind of mists off and actually you can feel them as droplets in the air on your skin and how those sometimes when looking at the right light and you get the, the foliage in the background, sort of the flora and fauna that almost shade it and shape it in its color and you get all of that strength and that impact that's what this does that's what this does it's not your everyday it's not your everyday and there's a couple of ways I can prove it number one way is actually I can say to you 30 day money back guarantee no questions no quibbles just trust me another way I can say it see it is just ever so slightly when you get the cascade of light that 
the light goes into these and then obviously some of it hits back because of the facets but some of it hits actually onto my skin you can see a really delicate sort of green glint to it can you see it's not the usual blue blue you get can you see it's almost greeny in its color and another way that i might describe this too is if i say to you okay i'm gonna bring you a oh goodness i don't know an amethyst and it's a tassel strand amethyst what color are the tassels purple if i bring to you a rose quartz tasseled strand what color are the tassels pink i'm bringing to you london blue topaz this is proof we do take time and we do take energy and we do think about the color tassels this is the only strand i've ever brought to you of this color it's also the only strand i've ever brought to you with this color tassel and that does go to show you as well that this is slightly different in fact you can almost slightly see some of the greener hues just in the almost brilliance that comes from these now this is a high-end gemstone really We've all seen this price. I showed you that earlier on. If you've already pre-ordered this, you get on an amazing price on that. Remember, here at Jewelry Maker today, everybody pays that final closing price. So you might have bought this before, and actually, guess what? You paid hundred pounds. You were chuppy, uh, chuppy, <laughs> happy as cheese. <laughs> Today we have just taken off for you £10. That I can only guarantee within the live hours. I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I'm just only can guarantee this in the live hours. If you're watching and you're watching on the repeat and it's sort of past, well, you know, it's past eight o'clock in the morning. Look, you could see the greens really well then. Honestly, this is so different than normal. This is such a different strand. And you know what? That's going to give you a different feel. Can you tell? You can see it, can't you? Can you see the greens almost in it? You're going to see it more when you get it in natural daylight. This is giving to you that almost sea foam green on kind of a lunar lit night. It's got a real beauty and wonder to it. It truly has. I am captivated by this. This is so different to anything I've seen. And you know what? If you want to get your hands on London, if you've already got a London blue tote pads and you love it and you adore it, why not treat yourself to this as well? Because I doubt highly unless you have this strand, you will have had one like it. I also think that actually this might make you re-fall in love with the gemstone. It's like when you're used to getting the same colour, say rose quartz, the same tone rose quartz, day after day after day after day after day after day. And then, do you know what, I've got a better analogy. It's like when we first started bringing to you Amazonite. We brought you Amazonite for like six years. That was a really lovely, delicate blue. And then we started bringing to you the Russian Amazonite. And that gave you a new flair, didn't it? Because it's a bit greener. It's got a bit more wow to it. And that kind of reinvigorates you, doesn't it? That's what I think this will do as well. Please do check out your baskets whilst you can. And I'm just going to show it you with, well, I'm just going to show it to you, if I may, with a couple of others. First off, Mink Kyanite, London Blue. Hello, rarity wise. Why not pair them together? I think that works really well with it, don't you? And I'm also thinking, actually, it would work really nicely. I wouldn't actually put it with them, if I'm honest. I'd put it with these ones. Why not? Just to really, it makes, because that's so light in its tonality, it makes that feel really deep and rich. The pearl chain, get the middle link of each chain. On a head pin, one of these, drop it down, little twist on it, little briolette twist, happy. Well done to every single one of you on this. You are in an elite anyway, because you're owning a London blue topaz. I mean, I don't know how many strands of London blue topaz do you own? I don't have any. No, <laughs> no, no. I, I don't have any at the moment either. I have, but it's been used. Um, but, but I haven't either. So you're already in a delete, an elite. I've got nine. With the amount of people who pre-ordered and everything else, I did start off with Last Chance Saloon anyway, which was less than 30. But with everybody who pre-ordered and is now checking out, I've got eight. That's it, eight of these. I have never seen a strand like this. Am I going to see it again? I really hope so, but we haven't put another order in on this as of yet. We might not. And if we do, London Blue Topaz is one of those gems that really just take us ages to get through. There are some gemstones that we can put an order in for and we can get them within three weeks. There are some gemstones 
pianos that we put an order in for and they will take six to nine months. This is the latter as opposed to the former. So if you do want to get your hands on it, you could be one of the last four now to own it. I have got people with it in their basket, so please do feel free to check out in the break. And remember, you've got the break now. You've got four chances. Really quickly, next minute, why don't you have a little bit of a look online and just see what kind of prices you are looking for London blue topaz. Type it in and see it um, because it's one of those gems that we think topaz affordable and then you remind yourself what the high street does in particular with London blue topaz and then maybe you don't think that so much. London blue by the way um, many um, experts say it's the best selling um, blue gemstone out there. It's incredible that shade in particular. I've got for you a little bit of a recap -a on the deal of the day. Last look for you coming up in a moment or seven after the break. And then we are straight on into what is probably one of the most popular, exciting, individual, unique kits I have seen in some time. This and so much more coming up on the flip side of this advert break. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just £2.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for £4.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. But being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. You can watch us every day 8am till 10pm on Sky, Virgin and Freesat and every day from 8am till 1pm on Freeview. The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline so call us today to place your order. Hello 
everybody, welcome all to The Late Show. My name's Becky, it's really nice to see you this evening. Um, I have got for you a mammoth recap on a mammoth treat of a deal that we had on as the deal of the day. We're doing the textured ones first, aren't we? These ones have been our biggest seller so far. Not a huge amount on the satin finish, so if you want them, I would say go, 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 quick, quick, quick because they're beautiful and they have been extremely popular so we've not got hundreds lovely finish lovely texture on your satin finished square tubes 30 of these ones in total for you today if you want to pick up the phone and grab these ones you're going to be one of the final few to be able to do so, I'm afraid, um, because actually they've been extremely popular. You're getting them in three different sizes. Let me give you those sizes. So the two mil sort of across each and every one is, but the actual length of them varies from 7.3 millimetres. The middle ones there are 10 mil a centimetre and the other ones the largest ones sorry are 15 mil you're getting a pack of 10 in each they're 14 pounds and 95 pence and you can see them at the larger ones in particular on this necklace design here spacing out each and every one of the um oh, i actually graduated them around oh that's nice oh that's clever largest ones toward the center medium ones towards the middle and um, smallest ones towards the back give them a little schmoozy you might be able to see that great idea isn't it really lovely effect so if you want those you know what to do free phone number at the bottom of your screen and we've also got some of the plain ones so these ones are your round tubes are they yeah are they yeah roly roly are they yeah try and show things in a delicate manner yeah, you like that? It's kind of free form, isn't it? What I've got here is 40 pieces. So you've got shortest ones of which you have the double amount. So you've got in a big amount of these, 20 of those ones in total. Going to give you a lovely finishing look. And um, these ones, by the way, in size are approximately a one by five mil. You've then got going up a step or you have got the medium size. These ones are your one by seven mil. And then the largest ones, these ones right here at the end, huge. Those ones are um, a 1.8 in areas, in the length, obviously. Um, and those ones are um, the more dramatic. The great thing about having the graduation in these is what you're going to be getting is a really, really wonderful finish and feel and movement. I think different shapes have different movements. Um, shorter shapes, it's like clicking, isn't it? There's a difference between sort of clicking, short, sharp, that's a lot of movement, to long kind of hmm. You know, they have different feels to them. That's what this does. That's what these do. My analogies are odd, by the way, if we haven't met before. I do apologise. I think my mind works a bit differently. Um, so seven pounds, seven pounds, and 95 pence on those ones. Wow, 40 pieces. That's a 40 pieces. So 20 of the smallest, and then 10 of the others. 20p per one. That's great for sterling silver. Genuine sterling silver, not even sterling silver plating, which is what some sneaky, sneaky people can do. Um, no, genuine sterling silver. Now, um, we use those ones on this design over here that had the lovely mirror ball fi finishes. But the mirror balls, we think, sold out. So I've got for you these lovely ones instead. Which actually had a little something, something. Sterling silver brush ovals we've got here. Ten of them in total, a mammoth amount that you've got absolutely huge very useful indeed um because they're going to space out your gemstones keeping them protected but also they've got that lovely flow to them haven't they they kind of go whoop, which i think gives it again a nice movement a nice flow almost like waves aren't they seven pounds and 95 pence for you well done absolutely every one and well done in particular to you um let me just say um we're about to head on over to the kit now, the kit is not here every day. It's not. I, as I say, work majoritively on the mid-show. If I could tell you how many times, or count, if I had a pound for every single time that we brought you a seed bead kit, and every single time someone has asked, have you got any ultra suede in today? Have you got any cabochons in today to go with it? I'd be rich. I'd be able to buy a new... Of course. 
Fridge. <laughs> oh, no, actually, I wish I hadn't said that. I need a new washing machine. Mine's broke. Nightmare, isn't it? Anyway, but I would. People want their ultra suede. People want their cabochons. We've got an incredible kit, haven't we? Oh, we do. You're going to absolutely love it. And you know what? You're going to love it because of the components. But you are going to fall head over heels in love when you see what the wonderful Nadia has created with it. Because this is just everything you want <laughs> in a collection. I had so much fun with this kit. I can believe that completely. Because that's what these pieces say. I think, if we're totally honest with each other, when we make jewellery sometimes, you make things and you think, oh, actually, this hasn't quite worked with me. And you make something and it was all right. And you've kind of paddled through. And actually, it's not awful, but... Meh. And then sometimes you get a kit that all the sizes work for you, all the colours work well together, all of the kind of differences in the gems really are exciting and always sort of you get passionate about. And I think you can see that in jewellery like this. This is what you're going to be able to create at home when you get this kit. I mean, it's astonishing. You can tell you fell in love with it. Oh, absolutely. I was so spoiled when I got... I mean, I got first I uncut, unpacked the Luna cap. I said, oh, these are beautiful. And I didn't see that I had the opal and the showerite and the amazonite. And when I saw those, I was like, oh, I just need to get started straight away, really. So these are the ones you saw first? Yeah. These are the ones you saw first. Yeah. And these are captivating your graphics are right now word. in yeah. now let me just say to everyone i've got 200 okay two just shy actually like one or two less but i've basically got 200 of this kit that is going to go because when do you get to see these very very rarely indeed in fact i so someone who works here, you know, I'm a full-time presenter, I work here every day, have never, ever been able to bring to you the lunar ovals before. Um, well, not every day. I have days off, but you know what I mean. Um, these are something we don't get to see often. The only time I've ever seen these before is actually when I filmed the um, Amy Sweet McNamara DVD with her, and she uses these in the Shabugs. Mm. You know, the body of the shabugs with the shibori that goes over them. Um, Amy Sweet McNamara makes the shabugs using these as the body. Mm. They work so well. And you can see where you've used them, actually, in your pieces. When you were working with them, did they just keep catching your eye? Well, I love... That's why I saw them first, just because they, they, they were glimmering through the package. So I was really excited when I saw them and, and I packed them. And I just had to twist them around a little bit and look at them. They yeah. remind me a bit of Labradorites. Yeah. Because the light kind of follows the stone around. Totally agree with you. Completely agree with you. Um, they are lovely and even. Really, really nice to be able to work with. Really nice and even. They've got the backing on them as well. So they've got a lovely smooth detail and finish. And that also helps with the kind of sheen and shiller that you get there as well. Because mm. it is such high shine. Um, you're getting six. Six of them. That's a huge amount, isn't it? Six of these ones in total, and each one of them just looks so different at each angle. Um, really beautiful on these ones. Okay, just to let you know, lots of people are purchasing now. Lots of people are purchasing. I'm going to go through this as quickly as I possibly can, because I don't want you to miss out. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. I'm going to bring to you now on this one, your opal. Okay. This is genuine pink opal. Opal, generally, we do not see very often in cabochons, actually let alone this size this is your pink opal so some are a little bit special some are a little bit different for you to be able to get your hands on and um, okay i've got multi buyers on this kit everyone this is a go 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 opportunity i need to make your way dan can i just check with you the web bidders can see the price yeah can they see the go-to price? Perfect. Web bidders, that's why it's majoritively you buying at the moment. Web bidders, you can see that deal, you can see that price, and you're snapping it up. Multi-buyers coming in for you as well, so a big amount. Three of these, as I've said, you will be getting the beautiful drop. You will be getting also the perfect round, and you will be getting the oval as well. I've also got for you, I mean, you must have fallen in love with this. Yeah, that was just beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. That is the most perfect looking Amazonite, you know, we've seen really, isn't it? That and is in like... cabochon form. Yeah. yeah. How many times have you seen Amazonite in cabochon form? How many times have you seen Amazonite in the last year, actually? Not so many, if I'm honest, but wow. It's like jadeite in its quality, isn't it? It's just stunning, a real captivating look there that I don't think is to be ignored for one iota. 
of a second. And when I pair it with one of the rarest one location that gemstones. One was my favourite. I know was we it? shouldn't, but when I saw that, I just had put aside and work with it later because I wanted to make something nice for that. What is it apart from the captivating individuality of this cabochon? What was it that made it your favourite? Just when you look at it, it's got these swirls and shapes and variation of colour within that no other stone does for me. No. So honestly, it's really special. I think what you've got here is actually not a, oh, that one's my favourite, or, oh, that one's my favourite. It's that one is, and that one is, and actually that is, and if I'm in the mood, that one, do you know what I mean? It's that kind of collection, isn't it? And we're tying it all together with one of your absolute must-haves. This is your Ultra Suede. Mm. Ultra Suede, wonderful finish. Essentially, you put it on the backing, usually. This is general use. There's lots you could do with it, but general use is you put it on the back of your pieces to help with the softness. So it is wearable, because obviously there's loads of threads often in this kind of work, um, because you do have to keep them in place. So it gives it a really nice feeling and it's beautiful against the skin. People have asked before as well, can you use it as your foundation? You absolutely can use it as your foundation. And actually, I think that's what Naji is going to be showing us, in yeah, fact. Yeah, and I've used it. Yeah. yeah. Using this as the foundation. If you like to work with a slightly firmer foundation, then obviously get back in foundation if you can. But if you can't, you can always use um, fabric hardeners on this as well if you wanted to. There is a lot in here. So let me count up the, some of the rarest capuchons up there in the world and some beautiful ones. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven capuchons and your ultra suede. One of the most sort of expensive fabrics we do generally. Your price point, which is why people are multi-buying left, right and center for all of this is coming in on your screen now. Wow. £37.95. I personally would love to know just how much the Opal are buying themselves because I wouldn't be too shocked if they were close to £20. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Dan has just oh. done. Dan's just pulled up the info for us. Web price. If you wanted to buy these separately right now, you can. But they're twenty-seven ninety-five. So actually, just for those alone, you are getting an incredible, incredible. Just for ten pounds more, you are getting even just a show right cab. Would you see a show right cab for ten pounds? Highly doubt it. Even at a jewellery maker price. I don't think I've ever seen a show right cab actually. No, I don't think. The Lunas alone are 10.95. Wow. So actually, let's say you get him, you're paying for these, and gone, these, and free, you're getting do, 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 one of the rarest gemstones, one locational gemstones in the world. You're also getting very unusual for us to see as great quality jadeite like Amazonite, and one of the most expensive fabrics that we bring to you for free. That's not a deal you get to see every day, which is why I've got people coming on in and multi-buying this one. Now, can I just let you know that because, and this is not always a rule, but it's a general rule, when you see a kit which is a bit different and is a little bit quirky like that, they're always popular because it's something we don't get to see. It's something of, yes, push that with our comfort zone. We will be showing you how to work with these now too. So, um, you know, it's going to be a nice new thing for you to enjoy and learn because we can love making a certain pendant, but actually if you make it 30, 40, 50 times, it gets a bit drab at points, doesn't it? So let's add something a little bit different and you all are and there's lots of multi-buyers. So good luck everyone um, because I've got... Well, not nowhere near as many as I did. Um, do be quick whilst you can. So, lovely, right. lovely, Nadia. Tell me what we're looking at today. Well, basically, I'm going to show you how to make the bases for all of these mm -hmm. and then show you how to progress from, from the basics to each of the designs. So, yeah. We're going to learn it all, pretty much. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take the Ultra Sweet and we need to take the stone and first of all glue it down. Okay, so for mm -hmm. that I've actually used some E6000. Okay. And E6000 is a um, jewellery making glue. You might be able to get it online. Yes, we do. I think we do have it actually. I'll just pop a tiny little bit on the back. This is a little bubble. And just be careful not to put it too far around the edge, otherwise it'll spill over onto the fabric. <laughs> Um, and it hardens it a bit, so it's a bit difficult to get your needle through the fabric, I found. So just a tiny bit. That was the squelchy noise of the glue. It doesn't want to come out, so I'm just going to... This can happen sometimes when you're working with glue, can't it? But yeah. because E6000 is quite viscous, usually you pull off a little, almost the bit that's dried yeah. and then it's fine. There we go, so that's coming out. And just kind of spread it around your cabochon a little bit. 
uh, around the edges. Not put too much on and then just simply press it down onto your fabric. Just be careful not to get any on your fingers, otherwise you're going to have to scrape it off later. Um, and just let it dry a bit. Just going to press it down. And this is the basis. So what we're going to do now is actually create a row around the stone. We're going to build up from there. So I'm okay. just going to grab one of my needles. I don't know if we still had some and of those sort of split needles that I did for you earlier on, but um, have a little look online. You might do. Yeah, no, they're great. Those. Just for ease. And uh, what I'm going to do, we're going to tack this cord down. So what I like to do in the beginning is just tie a little overhead knot so that it kind of hooks when I go through the fabric. Good plan. So I'm going to go through the fabric from underneath. Just usually you would let the glue dry first. So I'm going to go through and then pull that up. And then just simply tack it down once or twice. So going through again and come back up just to sort of hold it in place. And what I'm going to do now is a double back stitch. So I'm going to pick up two of my 11 o black seed beads okay. and I'm going to use those to go around the stone. Those are coming up in the next part of the kit. Great. So then I'm just going to have to judge um, the sort of distance between the two beads and kind of put a stitch through roughly where the beads are going to sit and pull that through like so. So the, as closely as you can towards the cabochon and it's always better to put the stitch in mm -hmm. as close to the cab as you can okay. as opposed to on the outside because if you happen to go towards the outside later when you cut the fabric you can cut your cords okay. and that can just um, cause everything to fall apart. So you bring the thread through. Then we're going to go through the two beads we've just added, uh -huh. like so. Pull it through so that we come back to a starting position. And we're going to add two more seed beads. And then again, just as closely as you can, maybe half a seed bead width away from the cab, we're mm -hmm. going to go through the fabric. Pull it through and this will nicely line the seed beads next to the cab. And what we're going to do next now is come out sort of three seed beads back like so and pull the cord through and then go through three seed beads like that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to just keep doing this until we get all the way around the cab, all right? Perfect. So I've already made a section here so that you don't have to watch me stitch all around the cab. But it's really easy, so you just keep doing that until you actually get there. Fab. So once you get to the section, you kind of place the last two beads like that. Mm -hmm. And you take your needle and you slide, slide, it, slide it through like that. And we're going to go around the cab once um, and this will kind of tighten up the seed beads around the cab. So I'm just going to slide this through. Okay. And until we get around the cab. Like that. And this helps to kind of pull in all the seed beads towards the cab itself. If you do need needles, I've got some coming up in a little storage container, pebble voicing. And this even sooner. Oh, I can't wait for that. Only 20, though. Right, so just going through. And you can go around once or twice more. Um, and this, you just, just pull it, and you can see how it sort of aligns all of the seed beads nicely around that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do like a um, peyote stitch. So we, we're going to grab one of the 11 -0 seed beads and we're going to jump one seed bead and thread the needle through the next seed bead like so and bring it back up hmm. and this kind of sits the 11 o on top if you can see it like that mm, like I see so. that, yeah, okay. yeah. so and then the, the thread comes up like that and you go around the stone just um, repeating that process so you jump one and because you started with um, two seed beads in the beginning it's always going to fit it's going to be even so think, yeah. you'll get to the end and it'll be an even fit mm. all right so you just keep going until you get 
around and I've gone to and have already finished off a row here so this is what it's going to look like once you have your second row that's lovely isn't it all right that's that gorgeous. Little, um, not turrets but you know what I mean on the castle isn't it yeah it is very satisfying to do this mm. yeah I love it so so uh, I've left a section here so we're just going to add the last seed bead and I'm just going to go through and then add it there we go and that's the last bead added and just sort of give it a bit of a tug and that will then bring all the seed beads up like so to surround the stone um, and then what I'll do is I step up basically just bring the needle through one of the top stones like so mm. okay so what I'm going to do now if you have a look at a finished piece there's different colored beads in between mm. so I'm going to le need to leave a gap between all of the seed beads all right okay. so um, what I'm going to do oh sorry I'm wrong here I need to fill out these gaps first so ah, once okay. you I'm talking rubbish. So what we're going to do next now is just grab an eleven oh seed bead and fill out these gaps first. So I'm going to go through the next bead like so. And this will then kind of close the gaps we have in between all of those eleven O's. And as you go along, just give it a tug every now and then because that will kind of lie the seed beads flat against the stone. I'm just going to go through and give a tug as you go along like that and this is really quite another satisfying sort of little um, craft you can do really enjoy the seed beading around the cabs and it's really fun and there's so many different patterns you can try as well mm. when you're encasing the cabs with the stones so basically you just carry on around the stone until okay. you get um, to this stage. You are so prepared. Take, hey, otherwise hey. you'd, you'd be watching me doing the same thing over and over again. So, so. prepared. Well, it's great because it means we <laughs> essentially get to see the whole thing, but we'd have to hang around for it. It's brilliant. <laughs> Very good, Nadja. Very good. Oh, thank you. Right, so if you, when you get to the end, you know, I've just left a gap here for the last bead, so I'm just going to slot that in, like so. Mm-hmm. And so you've got two beads on your thread or just the one? Just one, sorry, didn't see that. So just the last one, just to slot, to close that gap that's left here. If you can okay. see those little gaps, I'm going to close that in. Uh, the next step we're going to do, so now you can see already we've built a little wall around the stone, so it's coming up two rows, mm -hmm. okay? And that's pretty much enough to hold the stone. I mean, even without the glue, it would hold the stone in now already, so okay. that would be enough, but, I, you know, glue always helps. So yeah. so the next step we're going to have to do is kind of create that gap for these beads here. So the way we're going to do this mm -hmm. is pick up another 11-0, and we're going, again, the same process, we are going through one bead, but in fact, we're not coming out straight away like we did before. We're going to go through three beads uh, instead of just one. All right, so we're going to pull that through and put that into place. Mm -hmm. Pick up another 11 0. Go jump one and go through three seed beads. Mm -hmm. Like that. And this is much quicker because obviously you're jumping a lot of seed beads and then kind of put that into place. Push it into place. Pick one up, like so. Bit of a and clash, a clash, a bit of a recap, clarification. That's the word I'm looking for. Bit of a clarification being asked for by Dan. No problem, Dan. Yeah, what is it? In the information somewhere above the phone number, Balsy Camber keeps coming up, but Pink Opal isn't. Bit weird. You are getting. We can't even figure out why. Um, the little sort of beep, beep, beeps are in. We don't know why. This is everything that you get on your screen. Do apologise. Something peculiar happening. Saying Baltic Amber, but it's not that. It's very, very, very odd. I do apologise to you. I really do. It's not Baltic Amber. It's genuine, real deal opal. The three opals by themselves are twenty-seven ninety-five on our website. Just saying. 
To say sorry, how about I bring you this that you've been waiting for? I'm bringing it to you, but I'm saying sorry again because I've only got 20. I am bringing this to you now. You have been waiting, okay? These are going to go. We'll do the needles straight after. You know what these are. This is a wonderful bit of equipment for you to have with your seed beads, to have with your findings. You can see you have got a mass amount of the pots in there. Um, this is great as well because you can sort of undo the base of it, which means that I won't do it because it's a pain to put, well, it's not a pain to put back on, but I've just not got time. Um, but you can essentially take this off and it means you can meet them all separately. £15.95, pence. they're absolutely flying out the door. You've got really big pots in there, as you can see, so you can put the likes of your CD beads oh, in I there. I wanted one of those, these are brilliant. Oh, they're so oh, they're useful, fantastic. aren't they? Um, just you know, so wonderful. Please tell me, um, why do you want this? <laughs> it's just because it's so handy. I mean, often, quite often when you're working, you have different colour seed beads and yeah. you, you know, you have several projects on the go. Um, so you want to swap over and just to have a set uh, selection of beads that you can use. Oh, I didn't even see that now. Really yeah, you get one. two. <laughs> oh, that I'm is sorry, brilliant. you can't. We've sold out. But well done if you did get them. I'm bringing you some needles now with the pedal, just um, so we can carry on with the demo then. This is the pebble. Um, last few of those ones. And um, the pebble is great for your needles. It's even got needles in it. This is your four pack of needles and this is your needle pebble, which keeps them all in place. Stops them from bending as much as, as they usually do. Um, it's got, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's got this base, which basically means they kind of can go in um, almost all the way down. So they're kept really nicely in place. Um, I love my needles for sewing and for my textiles and everything else. And actually, I need a box like this because mine just have a small bar in the middle. And if I'm not careful and I catch them, I end up bending all the bottom of them. You're not going to get that issue with these. You have got 3 95 and that is with the case. You can reuse this case, of course. Um, so you've got absolutely loads of them. To Really great quality, really easy to store. It's, I won't take it out um, just because I won't open it up because then we won't be able to bring that one to you. But flip top, it's literally a, and the top flips open. Really easy, very handy indeed for you to get your hands on. Um, do treat yourself to them whilst you can. Um, and of course, I will say to you that we don't have a huge, we don't have thousands of these, but we also in particular don't have thousands of the kit so please do be careful and quick off the mark so don't need to miss out on any of the goodies you want i've got the final part of the kit coming up for you in just a few minutes but let's carry on with that demo shall we so right so you put um a seed bead every third sort of bead okay so, so now, does that mean there's three in between you're missing three in between so you've got you added one then you're missing out three add a seed bead missing out three and so forth okay mm. and then mm. we bring the step the needle up through one of those beads and then just grab one of those um eight toes i think they are they the, um, yes they are i think yeah and then bring it the eight toes yes they are the greener ones add a seed bead to each um of those um 11 o's that are sort of sitting proud on top of the um the lunar cam and that will kind of pull them into position and sort of encase the stone even more um, there we go, so we're just going to go through, just going to shift a little bit, there we go, Oops. and this will also put, pull all of the seed beads that are kind of sitting a bit wonky mm -hmm. into place like that oh i missed a black one i mean there's supposed to be one more black one um which i didn't put in but anyway this is how it would look okay mm -hmm. with one more bead there okay. so the next step that we would do is go down because we need to create a row around the stone itself okay so basically just try and Wrangle your way through the seed beads until you get to the swede. Is that how you say it? Swede. Um, suede. 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 I never get that right. I like your way though. <laughs> swede. Right. So just bring that through. And just again bring your needle out sort of a half width away. 
uh, this time from the eightos and we're going to do exactly the same thing you'd pick up your eightos and do again double back stitch just again gauge the sort of width of the two beads together and mm -hmm. put your needle through pull and then bring your needle back up like so pull it through the two and then again pick up um, another two eightos and work your way around like that and then just keep going until you actually reach that stage here and just try I mean I made the mistake with the first one to actually pull the palm oh sorry <laughs> sorry I'm sorry sorry Sorry, it was Ben, it he's just, he's just, went, yeah, because I, <laughs> did you remember me unscrewing it and going, I won't unscrew it completely? <laughs> oh. I wasn't here for that. No, sorry. Oh, it's sorry. fine though. Sorry, and that's no, the great no. thing, I'm because sorry. you'll You're be right. able to see that they're not broken at all, are they, Ben? Oh, they're great. No, Confirmation, all in one piece. Do you know what, if, if you had your seed bead trays and that would be on the floor, you'd spend the next two hours picking up your seed beads, but lids. because they've got lids. lids all the drop. lids. Still yeah. on. Brilliant. Well done, everybody got that. Oh, so Do apologise. Do apologise. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. Great demonstration there, thinking on the spot, I like it. <laughs> so, sorry about that, Najib. No, um, no I'm back with you. Right, okay, as I was saying, the first one I did, I made the mistake of kind of pulling too hard and it sort of sunk the stone in. So the next few that I did, I was a little bit more careful um, and was a bit more gentle with um, the sort of seed beads around. So this one is a lot better if you have a look at that. So, uh, once you get to that stage, just making sure I pull it out the right way, again, mm -hmm. bring it back up, the right direction, um, like so, and then basically just close it up, just come through, and close that up. I need one more green seed bead, and of course I just used the last one. So there we go and add the bead and go through and again you would then again go around um, the whole lot of the green seed bead especially if you're going to add more to the design so you want to reinforce it a bit more for now I'm just going to tack it and make sure again when you tack it to bring the um, the needle in as I, as I see here I've gone far out and when I cut it around it it'll can cause a problem and you can actually cut through the cords um, and and fall out so right oh what have you got I'm just noticing that some of the summer fists we've got coming up for you in a bit mm. it's just it's got like Moroccan reds in the center that's why I was like are we doing this in a bit and we are after the second part of the kit because people Oh, pointing! Right. All these seed bees. We're going to bring them now. We're doing it. We're bringing them for you now. You'll notice that I've brought over actually my not the usual London blue topaz it's because. green, you know that. That's exactly, exactly it. It is, isn't it? Uh, just now that it's close, like sort of a. Now you can see it in real life. Do you know what green. I mean? Yeah, definitely. Because I was, I was saying, wasn't I, earlier on, that this is not your normal London blue. This is gorgeous. It's like a deep sea mystical. It is like the colour on the tassels, yeah, isn't it? Gorgeous. Definitely. Is. The reason I brought it was because the colour you see at the heart of these is like that, mm. isn't it? Yeah, definitely. This is, you said sea green. These are sea greens. It works so well. This London blue is not your usual London blue. If you don't trust me, do get it at home and see it for yourself. Because, I mean, oh, nice. you know, mm. I brought it to you early, earlier on over there and you've just seen it in real life and have gone, wow, that is... It looks great. completely different when you have it close up, honestly. It really does. Yeah. So unique. That's at the point your screen took £10 off that. I just thought I'd bring it to you because the colours you've got in here are so reminiscent. This one in particular mm. is what this is like at the heart of it. Sea green. Oh, wow. Sea green you've got here in your eight O's. These ones are dura coated. That takes time, effort and money to do. Um, one of the more expensive sort of additions we apply to our beads, um, but it's worth it because it keeps the quality top notch. And um, I have also got for you here your um, really lovely Mayuki metallics in the bronze colour really lovely effect with those ones really deep dark rich bronze on those and then bringing to you the matte black and these ones are your 11 o's when we have it when you ever hear us going things like 11 o's 8 o's 
basically the smaller the number the bigger the size so 11 o's means you can get 11 in an inch basically eight o's means you can get eight in an inch so it means they're larger so just to give you an idea um so you've got a lovely range of sizes there you've also got some of the essentials including your fire line whoa these are going hello everybody whoa you've been waiting for your seed beads last seed bead kit of the day everyone i'll just let you know that now um you have got <laughs> Here, a wonderful <laughs> amount of your um, of your fire line, and also you've got a very durable chain in your findings kit. It may or may not have just got caught on the desk. Um, all of this for you, loads of it. Everything you can see on screen now. By the way, it is um, copper at the centre, but you'll never guess what. That is genuine gold over the top, everyone. Yep. Oh. Even in those big pieces, you've got massive amount within there. One prize point. I've got to get it on because it's going, it's going, it's gone. It's flying £27.95. One of the most affordable kits of the entire day. And it's your last opportunity of the day as well. Make sure you're getting your hands on these. Remember, if you need some more of the needles, I've got them there. Remember that I brought to you earlier on the cabochons. I also brought to you um, earlier on some of the, um, 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 the other um, seed beads as well. Well, I had in the previous kit if you still want some of those in that lovely color I've still got some very few available this is going very very quickly indeed if you want it free phone number bottom of your screen and um, you can see the colors they work well together it's I love the colors with these the oh, bronze goodness, and the no. green in particular it's like when you get um you know like copper buildings and you see like the verdigris happening on the roof I think that's the color you've got here haven't you it's absolutely beautiful I think they work so well together oh it's just gorgeous it really is get it while she can well done absolutely everyone all of those three large tubes of seed beads the fire line and the findings packs 27.95 and um, I'm back with you now Nadia um I can't encourage you enough please be quick on checking out on that very low in stock <laughs> almost over allocated issues if we're not careful please check out and back with you now do you love right okay so we're going to come back out the bottom and we're just going to tack it down i kind of make do like uh, three sort of half hitches so i'm just going to bring mm -hmm. my needle through just to make sure that how your hard work doesn't fall apart so what i would do here is just bring it through and then just like in macrame just bring your needle through once and then tack it down and then just going to cut it off i mean i don't know your thread zapper, for instance, those little bits mm -hmm. we had earlier work mm -hmm. really well for that um, right. to tack it. I use a lighter to kind of melt the ends off, but the thread zapper that we had earlier Does works it all in one. really well. Mm. Yeah, definitely. So then when you're done, another very satisfying fun bit is to actually cut the material away. So again, you have to be quite careful. As I say, if you have a look here, I have to be really careful now when I go to this section here that I don't actually cut the threads, Good otherwise you'll be in trouble. That's why I said earlier, you make sure that you, I'm just going to cut a little bit further away than I normally would, just so I don't actually. I suppose you could always flip it over and cut it that way too, you, couldn't you? You could, yeah. I think it might be a bad idea. But I'm already past that. So there we go. Obviously you'd be a lot more neater at home and make it look a lot better. Just cut it this way. Right, so now this is the basis of kind of wrapped all of the stones except for the Yesharite, mm -hmm. which I used a bit of a different technique, but all of the other designs, the stones I've wrapped with that method so you can make them all the bracelet as well. So for the bracelet, for instance, I've just connected the bracelet with um, fire line and a couple of seed beads in between and then made a lather stitch on the outside. Really, really simple, really quick to make. When you Once you've done your components, you just assemble it like that. Um, and then for designs like the pendants, I've basically all I've done is I'm just going to take another needle and I need more thread. Um, I'm just going to cut this off actually. You've got a massive bit. amount of thread in there, 50 yards on the spool. I know, loads. So usually I would just, I'm going to take it, what I've done with it now, tack it. So I'm just going to very, do a very quick stitch so that. It'll stay in place, like so. Uh huh. I keep catching threads tonight. What is it with me? Uh, to be fair, you've got so many wonderful stages prepared. <laughs> there are threads around. Usually at home I'm a bit more organised, so <laughs> don't know what's happening <gasps> <Wow>. tonight. <laughs> That's incredible because I'm less organised when I do it. <sighs> so your threads just sort of popped out there. Yeah. Well, I, I was talking. 
too yeah, much. Yeah, it's, there no, you go. I agree. <laughs> I was distracting you. Oh, you would. I, I was, I was. Um, I've got for you now a fire line pack, just whilst we're in threading that through the same technique. That means you're getting not one, not two, but three different varieties of your fire line, all in the same colour. Oh, it's like the different jobs that they can oh. do because they are the different thicknesses uh, or the different weights that they hold, if you will. Oh, that's great. Um, one of them will hold four pounds and less. The other one will hold up to six pounds, which is incredible. And one will hold eight pounds worth of weight. Um, so be a big gemstone. Maybe like the... Um, Labradorite, if you wanted to do all of those on a huge strand, that'd be great, wouldn't it? And that'd really hold the weight of them all. Don't forget, you've got the £10 in the kit, so you've got all well, bases covered there. Nine ninety-five for you today on that one, so get them if you're running low, or if you have got different jobs that you need to be done, Nine ninety-five for you today. Okay, so you've threaded back through now. Yeah, so I've basically come up, I've tacked my cord in, and basically the way I've done all of these designs is I've just picked up a couple of the 11 -0 seed beads, um, and then I either picked a gold or a green or whichever as a middle piece and then taken another two off my black seed beads okay. and gone through the very same bead and the next one as well like so just one and pull that through and kind of position it and then just repeated what I did. And this time I'm just going to pick up two blacks and one gold. And then I go through the same leg of the speed and then go through again. I'm just going to repeat this pattern through the next. And basically this is how you would go all the way around. That looks around. lovely. It's so much fun. It's brilliant to work with, really fun. And those cabs were absolutely wonderful to work. So basically what you would do is just carry on. And then the fun part with this sort of pattern is that every single time you, you design something like that, it comes out differently because there's so many different variations with all the seed beads. Mm. Um, that, I mean, if you have a look at the two, two pendants with the showerite and the Amazonite, they started off sure, pretty much the, the Amazon, same, yeah. but they are completely different, mm -hmm. and that's the fun bit. So basically, this would be your basis, um, and then you would um, just build your own design around them, adding seed beads. I so. love that. You can see, can't you, exactly what Naja is talking about, how they just go boom, slightly and, um, differently. It's so much fun. So it was a brilliant, brilliant kit. I'm about to bring something naughty in on your screen, okay? I those earlier. I want. Have you ever seen Moroccan ameth amethyst before? I mean, it's it's really unusual. You might have never seen it before. This isn't. This is um, Zambian, by the way. But if you've never seen it before, let me tell you what it is. Essentially, it's it's an amethyst that has tiny little um, kind of um, flecks of hematite within it, oh. and that means you can get this red glow. Some of these have got a real red glow in them. Can you see that? It very much depends on your angle, I suppose. Gorgeous. Stunning, aren't oh, they? I just had to pick them up early and I thought these are brilliant. They are, they aren't are they? Brilliant. Mm. Genuine, faceted, double-sided amethyst cabochons I've got for you. Look at those. Wow. A lovely look with that Zambian detail, that lovely effect on each and every one. What I love about these ones too is actually they've almost got like a um, halo of, of oh, colour a, change yeah. actually, haven't they? Mm. Which is really pretty. Very deep and rich toward the centre and a little bit of a sort of lighter halo. Sorry. Um, at the size of it. Really, really eye-catching I think. Love it. A brilliant bit about them is the sort of thin edge that they have because it allows um, for bezels really well to sit, especially macrame, wire, even mm. seed beads, and still show off a lot of the stone. So That's a great point yeah. to make. Oh, that price point is astonishing. Go and have a little look oh. out there if you've got the chance of the time and try and find a ring of this size and of that quality of a Zambian amethyst because I am one of those people who would quite happily wear a ring that because I love that kind of eye-catching look, I really do. $27.95, I wouldn't find someone like that on the high street yeah. in a genuine gemstone just for one, let alone for the five of them. Wow, very special opportunity there. 
Definitely, yeah, great. Really, really great deal there for you. Um, Nadia, thank you so much okay. for showing us all those demos. So much fun. So. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm captivated by that, but I've got to go this way. I have. <laughs> Come with me, London Blue Topaz. Why the voice? I don't know. <laughs> it's not Halloween, is it? I used to do that voice when my uh, niece annoys me. <laughs> don't make me come and take your toys. You sound like the witch from um, Snow White. Yes, I do a little bit. <laughs> Thing is, my niece is only two years younger than me, so she was always like, stop being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> not the point. What are you doing? Anyway, um, I have only got about 10 minutes left, so stick with me for these last 10 minutes. Why not? It's 10 minutes, and I'm going to bring you some great deals on Ixley. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be bowled over by these. Please note the ball is not included. <laughs> included. <laughs> you heard me. Look at these. One, two, three. Four. Genuine gemstone is by the way. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. These are all real. The texture on these is all real. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Look at how each one of these have different depths to it as well. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of tricky to see in the light, but there's a bit in the centre there of the fortification, which is opaque, and then it's like beautifully bright around the outside. Totally forgot where I was up to. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen cabochons. And then I have to get another one because actually there's loads more. Because look, whoa, those are all the extra cabochons. I have got such a huge amount of cabochons here, and you are guaranteed. 1,480 carats worth of this genuine gemstone. That is perfect for you. That is perfect for you if you're just starting out in the cabochon world because if you make something and it goes a bit wrong, hey, it doesn't matter. I've got plenty to practice on. £24.95. That means for me, oh my goodness, it's working out. I've got... The three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, seventeen, eighty, nine, twenty, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. I've got twenty-eight. You might get twenty-nine. You might get thirty. You might get twenty-seven. They're working out for me and my amount about ninety-eight p, eighty-nine p. Sorry, wrong way around. Eighty-nine p per one. Very limited for you now. Just to show you, get me torture truth out. The torch of truth. Look at these. I mean, that looks pretty, doesn't it? That looks beautiful. I mean, the movement is lovely, but... Oh, look at the depth. Look at the depth and the detail you've got here. Five of them left. I'm going to show you another one as well. Opaic nature. Opaic in the centre, I said, didn't I? Look, it almost is right there in the heart of it. Look at that. Imagine that as sort of a door hanging or a... Um, um, window hanging when the light shines through in the morning. Oh, look at this one. This one looks like you've cut into a magical tree. Doesn't it? It's true. Really does, doesn't it? It's like isn't it? It is, isn't it? It reminds me a little bit of the Demon Head Master. Anyone remember that? Yeah. Oh, I loved that show. The Demon Head Master. I've forgotten his name. Terence Harding, what is it? I am a daughter. <laughs> I know, <laughs> you think, what? You're someone's daughter. I'm a daughter of two head teachers, and when the demon F master used to come on, oh, it's like it's living with my parents, that is. Uh, $24.95 for you. Well done, every single one of you. Let me put that in there. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to do it as quietly as I can, but. Sorry. Sounds quite nice, though, doesn't it? Kai and I were absolutely adoring tonight. Do you know what? I think we've got some of the connoisseurs in today, if I'm honest, because people have been snapping up some of the really rarely seen qualities, like the Labradorite quality, the um, mint Kai and I did for you earlier, the London blue as well I did for you earlier, all very popular. These are the drops, aren't they? Wow. The drops of Kai and I. Oh, my goodness, you're joking me. Oh, that is such a beautiful strand. Okay, I have got one of the biggest drops of cyanite right there in the centre that I've seen for quite some time. 
Very, very, very pretty indeed. What are you, you serious? For Nepalese kyanite? $29.95. As soon as I get a little box out like this, do you know what my mind goes to? Right, you've got a hundred pound strand here. Because little boxes like this come diamonds. Little boxes like this come, you, you graded tanzanite. I never expect $29.95. And why would you on, on a gemstone like this from Nepal that has all that texture? I mean, you can always see the sheen and shimmer of that um, card-like structure internally, can't you? I mean, Nadja, what might you make to get your money back with a strand like this? Just one piece. <sighs> Probably the centre one. I'd use one of the sterling silver sort of connectors we get. You know, the one you can twist together. The name will Pinch bell. Yeah. Pinch bell, thank you. Yeah, no would problem. use one of those. Or I would maybe use three and make a sort of cascading cluster on Love a very it. dainty chain. I just, just oh. Or earrings, a pair of earrings with just two of them. Why not? Definitely get your money back on that. So. How about you pair it with its best pal? Well, it's... How about you put it with um, your um, with its its cousin, if you will, its overseas cousin, because this is a kyanite as well. That's a bit different, isn't it? But different, good different. Oh, I really like that. Well done, everyone. Emerald. Oh my. Oh lovely. Oh, this is a really. Oh, God blimey. Okay. Um. Wow. Well, well, do you know what the connoisseurs are in? All I'm going to say, connoisseurs, is. I say emerald, you say type 2 gemstone, that means what? Jadam, jadam, jadams. Not today. Not today. Look at the way the light shines through that. I'm going to prove it to you as well. Get me torch truth out. Please apologise. I, I don't want to try and get you in the eyes, but look at that. Jadam free, pretty much. That's incredible, isn't it? Your... Oh my goodness, now where have you found it? $29.95. For that much brightness, for that much beauty, for that much intrigue and interest, and for that lovely, delicate sort of blue finish to it as well. <laughs> my torch just died. <laughs> there it is. Look, look at that. That is just beautiful, isn't it? Look at the way the light shines through. Normally when I'm looking at a um, um, emerald, I'm looking at the surface of an emerald. I'm not looking into an emerald. With this, I'm looking at the surface, the into, and the out of again, <laughs> if you will. Um, emerald qualities, I think that is sensational. Four of them left, good work everybody. And again, bit of a quirky one, but to bring out the greens that we could all see with the London blue, just an idea. You need to get this London blue home, I think. Do you agree with me? Because I think you, even you were shocked, Nadia, when you saw it in real life. It's completely different close up. Definitely has a very green undertone. Mm. It's gorgeous. Stunning. Well, with that, yeah. well done, everyone. Who got your hands on that lovely emerald? It's a really great one. Zambian as well. Oh. <gasps> Going to give you another deal now. Another treat room. Charites, did you just say? Wow! To go with Ooh, your cabochon. I just heard you say shower right. To go with your cabochon. Now, you're a fan of this, aren't you? Definitely. Oh, your it. face just went into love an oh, it. then. Tell me why you love this strand. Oh, and it's gemstone. First of all, the purple. The purple and shower right is absolutely gorgeous. But then secondly, the different colours in that strand and the facets and then the graduation. And it's just got so much to go for it. So it's just absolutely oh, faceting on these as well. Love it. It's stunning, mm. isn't it? Really intriguing, really individual. I think you've got a beautiful gemstone strand here. Um, I think it's got so much kind of movement to it. It is like artwork in each one, actually, isn't it? Don't you think? Such great fasting as well in this one. Yeah, yeah. And that's actually something we don't get to see often, is it? That's a good point to make. What does the fact? What do sorry the facets give to you? Just every little facet reflects the light in a different way. So when you <clears throat> when you have it on a on a neck piece, um, it just reflects the light and it sort of draws attention to it. So really like that about it. 
Yeah. yeah good. Draws the attention, catches the eye, gives you these incredible, almost violet rays that that give you actually a movement of energy. If you believe in your crystal healing, etc. Obviously, I can't say that that's scientifically true, etc. etc. But if you do believe in that, you you will know that this gemstone has connotations with the likes of chakras and with the the um, likes of sort of balance in your life. And what I think with this is, even if that isn't your bag and you don't believe in it, when you're looking at this, you've almost got this touchable movement of energy that runs through it. You really do, because you always have the shiller and sheen on some of them. And I think because they're kind of faceted, again, as you say, it adds to that beauty, it adds to that intrigue. A really stunning gemstone for you here. Four opportunities left. Sorry, did not see that prize come in. Wow. 60 pounds, I thought you shall write for four. Obviously, it is a different strand, but not really the point, is it? Do you know what? Because I like you. I'm going to bring it on over. Ooh. I'm going to. Um, <coughs> excuse me, that cough came from nowhere. You're coming over. <coughs> cool. Um, I'm heading on over now to the wonderful Nadia, who has been with us all evening. Um, have a little, little looky look. <sighs> Can I pick it up? Go Can on. I? Only because it's you. Three of them left, that's it. Loving it? I like it. Really good, I, might, I, it? Might, I might just... I might just like it too much. Well, I might just treat myself to one, but you're probably not going to be able to. I've got too late. Um, Nadia, you have been a love tonight, as per usual. Thank you for all your time and effort in the prep and everything. We really do appreciate oh, it. Oh, it's wonderful. Can I just, just quickly, one thing I forgot yeah, about ahead. this. Um, I made this for the, the big piece, so just sort of mention it. I'm going to put this on the website. Perfect. So you can get, get that off. So that's via Facebook, is it? Yes, yeah. Yes. So you can get that off. I forgot to mention it earlier. If you want to make the big piece, that's the sort of shape for it. So. Okay. Yeah. So this is the stencil that we're going to put up on there for you. Um, so that will be going up on, on Facebook at some point. Um, so do keep your eyes peeled for that. When are you on next, please? On the 4th. On the 4th? Yeah, 4th Perfect. of August. So, Thank yeah, you so much to again for today. Um, just to let you know, we're about to go, go, go. Um, we are all essentially at some point back with you tomorrow. It's Lucy joining you for the morning show. Then you've got me in the afternoon. And then you've got Derek in the evening tomorrow. Have a safe evening. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Have a great one. Bye.